point kindly Sinong next kaya tayo i-read? Good evening po sa lahat.
Uh, let us and then start. Okay, good evening everyone. So be before we start, um, may I request Ate Sylvia for the opening prayer. Okay, let us pray, brothers and sisters. Good evening to you, loving heavenly parents and victors to parents, our parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. Tonight, Heavenly Parents, you have given us another opportunity and chance, Heavenly Parents, to gather as one family to really, not to study, but to really dig into um, the essence of the words that you want us to practice and to truly understand, uh, not only cognitively, but also practically and artistically, Heavenly Parents. So, uh, we are truly grateful to our mentors and our brothers and sisters as well as for this great chance of this day, Heavenly Parents, this beautiful day that um, we are gathered together once again to do this undertaking, Heavenly Parents, and may you can truly use each and every one of us 
to be very instrumental in conveying uh, whatever inspiration and understanding that we could have had um, taken today, Heavenly Parents, and uh, that we can all, always be able to have the opportunity and always resolve to digest it fully, Heavenly Parents, and practice it in our daily life. Only then can we become not just a mere lecturer, but rather an educator to every single person that we could have the chance to meet. Those we are even, we already had met, and those who are yet to meet Heavenly Parents, that we can really guide them and really be able to facilitate them towards the right path, Heavenly Parents, that is. Um, and realizing, Heavenly Parents, the very essence of our existence and the purpose of uh, uh, this first place of time, Heavenly Parents, in relation to our past and in the future. So, thank you so much, Heavenly Parents, for this uh, time. I hope that uh, we really pray and implore for your divine presence to be amidst us so that we can really be able to maximize this time for the greater glory and that we can also be able to contribute in the realization of your heavenly community here in the physical earth while our true parents, especially our true mother, has still been with us, heavenly parents. Thank you for trusting us unconditionally and for and believing in us despite all our inadequacies, heavenly parents. I really believe I'm, I'm also grateful to our ancestors because it is through them that we have had this uh, chance to be chosen by uh, time Hamlet parents. So we would like to humbly offer uh, all our strength, our aspirations, our commitment, Hamlet parents, and our sincerity together with brothers and sisters. And this unit, the, the unity that we have now could really be the same unity that we could really be able to uh, expand and uh, really impart to brothers and sisters and somehow this one could really become a common base for you to work through us thank you so much once again we would like to humbly offer and report all these things to you in, my, in the name of our true parents and in the name of brothers and sisters and our leaders and in the name of the prayers and the best family Aju. Aju. yes thank you so much po ati Sylvia so once again po good evening Sir Randy ati Sylvia Erwin welcome po to our of the class po, online series. So, good evening. This, so let's before we proceed. Um, you can make it I I would like to welcome our model lecture for tonight. <clears throat> he will uh, he is the a blessed couple, blessed couple, and the program head of the universe. Ah, program the. He will discuss the chapter four, the parallels between the two ages in the providence of restoration. Okay, just help me to welcome our very own Kuya Herwin Kalinawan. So please keep on, brothers and sisters. Right, good evening po. Uh, alam mo, hindi pala tayo nag-ano kaya last time sa uh, model lecture. Meron si Sir. Alimutan po. Si Sir Randy po yung nag-ano, nag-model lecture. Hindi sa, ano, sa ngayon, hindi tayo nakapag- Wala, walang schedule. I think nakalimutan ko. <laughs> Nung nasulat ko lang is yung yung lecture last time. Pag na-lecture tapos dual character. Yes. Kakasend ko lang din kanina. Hindi to sa notebook, hindi ko na-send <laughs> that ano. Tapos yung link din pala bukas, Sir Win. Bukas na umaga. Ah, sir. Oh. Na, na, kakasend ko lang sa'yo, sir. Or nasend ko na kanina kay Dr. V. Nangingin si kanina si Dr. V. Kanina ha. Ah, sig. Okay, so let me share. Kasi ang mga lecture natin is chapter 4. Chapter 4, yeah. The Parallel Between the Two Ages in the Providence of Restoration. Yeah. Last time, Chapter 3. Hindi um, ko memorize. Mahirap memorize yung ano ah. 
mahaba kasi periods in the provincial history and determination of their length. Chapter three. Chapter three. Chapter three last time. Yes. Okay. So, Parallel of two ages ngayon, yung uh, history of restoration and prolongation of history of restoration. Oh, yeah. Chapter 4. Tama to chapter 4. The parallels between the two ages in the providence of restoration. So, yung mga similarities na nangyari um, between the two ages. Providence of restoration tapos yung prolong prolongation of providence. Uh, Pag-aaral natin dito. At the same time, yung progress ng history uh, in accordance with the providence of restoration. So, paano nag- uh, Bakit nagpa-progress yung history? Anong purpose niya? And yeah. Bakit kailangan magde-develop? So, yep. Let's begin. Chapter 4, the parallel parallels between the two ages in the providence of restoration. So, before that, let us understand first about kung ano yung purpose ng providence of restoration. Since the ultimate purpose of the providence of restoration is to lay the foundation for the Bisaya, if it is prolonged, the dispensation to restore this foundation must be, repeat, must be repeated. This has meant, in effect, the repetition of dispensation to restore true indemnity, symbolic offering, and a substantial offering. So, yung purp we, are, we have the providence of restoration, di ba? And then, we all know that the purpose of ng ng restoration uh, the providence and restoration is always to lay the foundation for the Messiah. Kasi yun lang naman yung inaantay natin. That's what we've been waiting for. It is to to lay the foundation and to receive to lay the foundation for the Messiah and to receive, to receive the Messiah. And that is why pero yung restoration, we always um, that is why yung restoration we always pay uh, may, may repetition siya is because if if nag-failed nag, nag yung ano yung 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 central figure na yun, then it will be repeated and it will be prolonged. So, and this repetition, it is, uh, it is uh, because of uh, paying indemnity of, of the symbolic offering and substantial offering. Na hindi nangyayari. Then the nation centrally responsible for God's providence in the age of the providence of restoration, starting with Abraham was Israel. So, kung i-compare natin yung uh, history, yung I compare natin yung dalawa between the two ages. So, the Old Testament, which records the history of Israel, provides the source material of studying provincial age, provincial history in that age. So, pag pa, so ang central person before during the time sa, sa Old Testament, there is are the first Israel, and then Sa ngayon, kung titingnan natin here, the history of Christianity. So, kung i-compare natin yung dalawang ages, the providence of restoration, the prolongation of providence of restoration, ang central person is here, during the providence of restoration, ang central person, central people, Israel. So, ang, ang second Israel ngayon is Christianity. Kaya, Napaka-importante yung um, role ng Christianity. And kaya nga, father, pumunta ng America because ang pinaka malaking ano ng Christianity ba is America. And that is to lay the foundation for and to receive the Messiah. Dapat, ganun dapat yung gagawin ng America. So, so it is through the history of Israel. So, paano natin malalaman? When we talk about the history, uh, pag-aralan natin yung history ng Israel tapos kung titingnan natin sa history ng Christianity. So titingnan natin nila natin kung ano ang nagiging parallel nila between the between these two ages. So the central people who became centrally responsible for the providence in the age of the prolongation of the providence of restoration starting with Jesus were Christians. 
Accordingly, the history of Christianity provides the storage material for understanding providential history in this age. So yun nga, kaya dapat, during this time, ang gagawin ng mga Christian leaders is to receive the Messiah. But sometimes now we have this, um, we have this uh, old beliefs na hindi natin na alis-alis sa ano natin. We forget to receive uh, another ano, new wine. Yeah, that's one of the main problem why uh, we could see right now that even Christianity is declining. So in this sense, the descendants of Abraham in the Old Testament age may be referred to as the first Israel and the second Christians in the New Testament age may be called the second Israel. So yun. So, 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 so yun nga, let's study parallelism between the provincial ages. But I'm, I'm not, I uh, will not be going to the details of this, ano, kasi actually mahaba siya po. So it's better also if you could study by yourself, like marami naman tayong sources, internet, napakabilis lang. And of course, uh, first we have to look through the book uh, of the Divine Principle, 10 hours, 12 hours, and then black book here. Uh, so just uh, brief. So the age, let's start with this one, for yung dalawang providence of restoration, providence of restoration sa prolongation. So ano yung um, similarities ng dalawa? So from Abraham to Moses, 400 years, and then so prolongation, Jesus to St. Augustine, 400 years. So the age of the prolongation of the providence of restoration has been to restore the substantial parallels, the age of the providence of restoration. The age of image parallels. As the period of this age were to restore to indemnity, the corresponding periods of the previous age, these periods proceeded in a parallel fashion, both in order and in length. So they have similarities. The 400-year period of persecution in the Roman Empire in the age of the prolongation with providence of restoration was the substantial parallel to the Israelites' 400-year period of slavery in Egypt. Its purpose was to restore that earlier period through the parallel indemnity conditions. So yun, it has to be repeated kasi yung nag nga from um, the time of Abraham until Jesus, so the Messiah were not, was not able to fulfill his uh, responsibility uh, 100%. So it has to be right? it has to be prolonged, and there is there is a need of repetition in terms of taking response uh, in terms of of symbolic offering and substantial offering. So yon 400 years dito so dapat uh, so kung titingnan natin yung history ng Roman Romans there is a persecution happening between yung namatay si Jesus Christ pinapersecute yung mga mga uh, yung mga Romans it's because at this time so yun, yun, dahil sa nga naging failure yung mga Jews so they forget uh, they, they were not able to uh, the Romans were not able to parang take responsibility. So ganun ang nangyayari talaga. They will, uh, they receive persecution. Hindi naman dapat mangyayari to in, 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 kung, kung if they receive the Messiah. So it, it just happened is because they were able to recognize the Messiah. They crucified Jesus Christ. Until St. Augustine. And St. Augustine was the one who who like uh, begins the in the history of Christianity begins the uh, yeah be, started the history of Christianity. So next the four hundred year so yun. another four hundred year period of regional churches church leadership was to restore the four hundred period of the judges through the parallel indemnity conditions. So from Moses to Saul, King Saul, 400 years. And so St. Augustine to Charlie May, regional leadership also. And during this time, after Charlie May, the Karoon ng uh, Christian Empire, it is because um, so during after Jesus Christ died, died, then 400 years, 
kulto pa yung Christianity. But after, nung na-discover ni St. Augustine about, uh, I mean, St. Augustine discovered about okay, the cross, yung, yung mother niya, si St. Uh, Empress Elena, and then, but during this time, Charlemagne, it was actually, uh, nagkaroon ng uh, acceptance yung Christianity. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng Christian Empire. So say mahapen King Saul, then united after you after sa ano ni Moses, King Saul, 120 and then years and then the yeah, 120 years of Christian Empire was to restore the 120 years of the United Kingdom through the parallel indemnity conditions. So it is the Christian Empire happened in order to restore the United Kingdom of 120 years. So kailangan mga yari siya. So, yun. Then another 400-year period of the divided kingdoms of East and West was to restore the 400-year period of the divided kingdom of North and South through the parallel indemnity conditions. So divided kingdoms of North and South, 400, 400 years, and then to indemnify that one. So it should happen also here, 400-year divided kingdoms of East and west. So uh, as what I have said, hindi kung, sa una pa lang, <coughs> dito pa lang, if they accept Jesus Christ, lahat ng mangyayari dito, it will it will um, hindi naman talaga dapat mangyayari na karoon ng ganito. Automatically, the providence will progress, but it's because of that failure from the beginning pa lang, sunod-sunod na yung failure. So it will happen. 200 year, 210 year period of papal exile and return was to restore the 200 year period of Israel exile to Babylon and return through the parallel indemnity conditions. So same, the Israel exile and return, that was papal exile and return. Then, the uh, time of Malachi, preparation for the Messiah, the 400 year period before Jesus Christ would will come. So there is also a preparation during the time of the second coming, and that is 400 years period. Started with Luther. Kaya napakalaki yung role ni Luther in terms of preparing the Messiah. Siguro may revelation, may revelation niya si Luther. Oh, that's why, yeah. He received a revelation from God also. Not not because he, he was able to prepare the Messiah, but... <laughs> but uh, he started Christianity, uh, the revolution yeah, of Christianity. So, yun, 400 year period also, in order to indemnify the preparation of the Jesus Christ, na hindi rin, uh, yeah, it is enough, but responsibility here is the problem. And also, here, the preparation is enough also to welcome the Messiah. But even though the, 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 there is already a preparation, it, also, it, it still matters about the responsibility of the present age. Kaya nga ngayon, even though during the Messiah of two father, even though pe people are prepared, uh, the environment are prepared, kasi may preparation for 40 years, although they are prepared, but it also needs a responsibility as a members and also the Messiah. Unfortunately, father only delayed everything, give everything. Meron ng foundation talaga si Father. Yun ang, yun ang napakaganda sa atin. That is why even if we members fail, the providence of God will continue because already it started. No matter what, it, it will still continue. Father will find another person even if we fail as an individual. So it also matters, it always matters with responsibility. So yun yung parallelism. I, ang detailed nito is nasa 12 hours. So if you want to know more, Read it with yourself <laughs> and also research in the internet. Yeah. Yung mga reliable na sources. So yun yung ano, uh, parallelism between the two ages, the providence of restoration. And section seven, so the rest of section seven, eh, kasi yung eto kasi to, the divide to siya ng section 106 every ano. So, section 7 na tayo. The providence of restoration and the progress of history. Bakit kailangan natin... Why do we need to study about the progress of history? So, and then, kasi... Um, so, malalaman natin dito. 
So bakit kay, bakit bakit nagpo-progress yung history at saka ano yung purpose ng history? So we all know that it is part of the providence of restoration. And let us also understand kaya pag-aralan natin kung bakit. So here, kung titingnan natin yung human history, let's start uh and it begins studying the human history. Meanwhile, on the basis of his relationship of blood ties to be the first human beings, Satan has worked through the fallen people to realize in advance of God, a perverted form of ideal society which God intends to realize. As a result, in human history, we witness the rise of unprincipled society, which are built upon twisted versions of the principle. At the end of human history, before God can restore the kingdom, of heaven and earth, Satan will have built an unprincipled world in distorted, distorted image of the kingdom. This is none other than the communist world. So, uh, kung titignan natin yung human history talaga, meron laging good and evil, right? And goodness, ang, ang goal ni God is to have a goodness and establish the kingdom of heaven and earth. Now, Nalaman na natin, uh, we, all, we all know that in the providence of from, from Adam to, to most to Abraham, although man naglay din ng foundation, uh, mayroon ng foundation of faith and substance in, or in order to receive the Messiah. The problem is yung environment kasi naging national na yung kay Satan, kay God family pa lang. And the same happens during establish the kingdom of heaven and earth. But the problem there is an evil world also that is communism in in our in our, in the history right now so until now until now i up to now also got also satan imitating the providence but it is an unprincipled way so that is the communist world so dalawang world ang nangyayari ngayon pero ang wala pa ngang kingdom of heaven eh <laughs> that's the problem but there's an already a communist world but Thanks to True Father, we all we 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 knew from the the story of True Father that Father is um, a counterattack the communism, right? And it's also one of the reason why the communism declining. So yun. So kung ganon ang history, kung babalik tayo, ibig sabihin meron ding mga Cain type society at saka Abel type society. Meron kay Satan, meron din kay kay God. Ang ang problema lang lagi na una kay Satan. And that's yeah. That's frustrating kay God. So when we examine the course of social development, the so yung the progress of history in the age of the providence of restoration. So we are on the age of the providence, okay? Age of the providence of restoration. Wala pa tayo sa um, prolongation. Oh. So when we examine, so before pa, before pa, so during the time sa ano. So when we examine the course of social development guided by Satan, we find that clan societies arose out of the divisions between individuals in primitive societies. These societies would have tended to expand the scope, uh, to expand in scope, with clan societies developing into feudalistic societies and then into monarchic societies by increasing their territory and power. Satan preempted this pattern ahead of God because he understood God's plan to call good individuals and have them build such societies. So, ito yung social development kay Satan. Meron ng primitive societies, clan societies, feudalistic societies, and monarchic societies. So, God called Abraham to be the standard bearer of goodness and blessed him with descendants who would uphold God's will. God raised up Abraham's descendants into the first Israelite clan society. They entered Egypt as a clan society. But by the time they left Egypt for Canaan, they had grown into a tribal society. Israelite society in the period of the judges was a feudalistic society. Then they entered a monarchic society with the establishment of the United Kingdom of Israel. So ito, um, ito, yung, na, ito yung naging progress ng history. Since from the very beginning, mas nauna lagi sa si Satan. So, kung titignan natin, 
a social development provided uh guided by Satan. Guided guided by Satan talaga. Guided. So primitive societies. Ang ang during sa primitive societies, di ba? Wala pa namang masyadong hindi pa advanced yung mind ng tao that time. So it means kung titingnan natin sa uh, so, uh, uh, socially wala pa silang pattern kung kung sino yung leader basta namumuhay lang sila based on um kain, kain lang kain tapos <laughs> ano an, uh, anong term dun basta yung mag magising lang sila tapos they don't, they don't follow any rules kasi they don't have that uh, that time they only thinking about how to live their life daily ganun lang wala silang sinusunod na batas wala silang ganun primitive pa nga eh primitive people pa ang nangyayari so tapos nagdevelop ng clan societies and during it is during the time of Abraham as a like clan society meron nang so na develop feudalistic society Israelite feudalistic uh, society during the period of judges and then monarchy society during the time of the United Kingdom of Israel. So ito yung nag ito yung nang nangyari, nagde-develop siya but this is this development social development is guided by Satan. So the providence of restoration and the history of the West. Yun yung yun yung ano, yun yung providence of restoration, age of the providence of restoration. Now let's proceed to the prolongation the age of the prolongation of the providence of restoration. So yung prolongation after sa time as during the time of Jesus right after pala after. Yeah, no matter Jesus. So after sa, starting the time of Jesus Christ and then no matter siya yeah. And then until now, ito yung prolongation. So earlier sabi ko age of the providence of restoration. Yun yung ito yung nangyari na buo ni Satan. Kaya ang hirap-hirap i-restore. The prolongation, tingnan natin, paano nag-develop yung tao? So we, we all know about what is feudalistic, right? It is about like uh, the one who owns the land is the one who is powerful. And then monarchic society, like generally like uh, uh, basically it's like king and queen or that time only king owned by uh, ruled by king, the power is only through the king. Merong tinatawag na absolute monarchic society that, uh, during that time. Later na lang yung uh, uh, democratic uh, like yeah, monarchy. So, yun. so during the, pre the age of the prolongation of the providence, kung titinan natin from started with Jesus Christ, ang providence dapat is ganito. Had the Jewish people believed in Jesus as the Messiah and united with him, the Roman Empire which had unified uni unify the ancient world around the Mediterranean Sea, would have been won over by Jesus during his lifetime. During his lifetime. Jesus would have been honored throughout the empire as the king of kings and established the world with dominion with Jerusalem as its capital. So if people that time accepted Jesus Christ as the Messiah and the Jesus Christ built an uh, ideal family and if Jesus Christ was accept, accepted by Jerusalem. Ang mangyayari dapat is Jerusalem will become, the, the city of Jerusalem will become famous and the power of Jesus Christ expand through the Rome and the, the Rome will become the center of the world. Ganun dapat ang mangyayari. But since they crucified Jesus Christ, nagkaroon ng 400 years, yung sinabi ko kanina, 400 years na persecution of the Roman Empire kasi they crucified Jesus Christ. But Ang dapat na mangyayari is Jesus Christ would should have been accepted by Jerusalem and centering upon Jerusalem, Rome will become powerful. Jesus Christ will become the King of Kings and the the providence of God will be expanded throughout the world. The, domin the dominion uh, of God would be uh, established here on earth. Ganun dapat ang mangyayari. But what happened? The history shifted. Since si God hindi na hindi na niya pa, hindi na niya papagkakatiwalaan. Yun ang minsan, minsan pa, yeah, yun kung pag-aral natin yung history talaga, sometimes if you fail, God it doesn't mean God did not trust you, but God will find person who is 
unchanging <laughs> in the midst of difficulties. Kasi ayaw ni God nung pang, parang pagkatang ganun ka eh. Yeah. Actually, God, absolute nga si God. So, kailangan ang, ang naging conclusion, conclusion natin is pagkatang pag ganun, pag ganun, pag ganun tayo but dapat ang dulo is maging absolute but if you do like this, you know, God will find another person who is more, more responsible yeah, than you. But you can still continue your vision. But somehow, it's prolonged, centering upon your family. Ganun ang nangyayari. So here, ano nangyayari during, during the time of Jesus Christ? Nagsishift yung providence. Invest na mag- ang, Ro- ang, ang Rome, uh, ang Jerusalem yung center, is because of uh, crucifixion of Jesus Christ napunta sa Judea, like uh, southern part of Jerusalem, um, baba ng Jerusalem, Judea, napunta doon yung, na-shift yung providence doon. And uh, during the 476 AD, so, napunta sa Western Roman Empire. And, uh, yung mga Christians, they, they uh, even, parang lumipat sila sa Western Europe. At parang, but lumipat sila sa Yesu, you know. Yung iba kasi sa kanila lang. So, however, since Jesus was crucified, the Western Roman Empire came to an end in 400, 476 AD. And the center, the center of God's providence of restoration shifted from Judea, the land of God's bitter grief, to Western Europe. Formerly, the territory of the Western Roman Empire. Accordingly, the spiritual providence of restoration based on Christianity has been conducted primarily in Western Europe. Only in Western Europe has the history of this era progressed strictly according to the pattern set by the providence of restoration. The history of Christianity in Western Europe provides us with information. So, kung pag-aralan natin, when we talk about Christianity, mas marami yung history na galing dun sa Western Europe about the events which shaped the age of the prolongation of the providence of restoration. So yun, suppose, so na, nag-end yung, yung Roman Empire, 476 AD, and then yung providence napunta sa Western Europe. Ganun ang nangyari, nag, nag-sip yung providence kasi kailangan ni God, he had to, may plan, yeah, may plan B si God, di ba, lagi. In case na ganito ang mangyari, kasi nga, ang, God, ang will ni God is absolute mangyayari at mangyayari yung kingdom of heaven and earth but it it depends upon the prolongation is depe- dependent on human portion of responsibility god always always have a plan so since it's shifted so napunta sa western europe so, kaya nga ang history ng christianity most of the history of the christian christianity were uh, happened in western europe so yun So since napunta sa Western Europe, tingnan natin um, the mutual relationship between religious history, economic history, and political history kung paano nag-progress. Diba? So I think this was um, yeah. Kung pa, kung, tingnan natin kung paano nag-progress yung history at kung ano yung bakit nag-progress siya. Although religion and economy seem to develop this is this is based centering upon um, religion, economy, economy, tapos politics. Okay. So although religion and economy seem to develop at variance with each other, they are related in the life of society. Thus, there has been some mutual influence between the history of Christianity and economic history. Religion and economy uh, are integrated with our life in society through politics. Therefore, to accurately grasp the progress of history as it moves toward the goal of the providence of restoration, we must investigate separately the Christ, uh, Christian economy, can, uh, economic and political histories. So let's study about the politics. Uh, sa ngayon kasi, yung religion, ano nangyari kasi, um, na, na pinag-isa ng tao yung religion and science centering upon politics, kaya naging powerful yung politics. Minsan, ginagamit ng politics yung religion in order for them to gain uh, people. And ginagamit ng mga politicians yung uh, uh, economy uh, to gain to gain wealth. Parang, so, ganun. But, tingnan natin sila 
kung ano yung progress ng history, religion, and economy uh, separately. Tingnan natin. So, we we understand down, therefore, sabi dito, accurately grasp the progress of history as it moves toward the goal of the providence of restoration. So, uh, ang, ang goal ng history, but why it progresses, it is because um, it is it is this is the providence of restoration and it is the preparation also in order for it to welcome the Messiah. Kasi kung hindi magpo-progress yung side ni God, ang mangyayari, ang uh, unstoppable, di, magiging unstoppable yung providence ni Satan. Providence talaga ni Satan. Magiging unstoppable yung ano ni Satan, yung, yung ginagawa niya. So kailangan tataas din si God. So it needs to be progressed kasi para malamangan ni ni God si Satan. Then para para pagdating pagdating ng Misaya, hindi agad mama, hindi hindi agad papatayin yung Misaya. The Misaya will go into build an ideal family and establish the kingdom of heaven. Ganun dapat. Kaya the history needs to be progre- uh, to be uh, developed. So kung titingnan natin uh, uh, let's look at the history Since the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the Jewish nation had fallen to Satan's side. Consequently, God broke up that society. God broke up that society, calling the believers out of it to establish a Christian clan society. So since um, the Jewish nation, they were not able to receive the Messiah, Jesus Christ, magkaroon dapat ng uh, society centering upon God, centering upon Jesus Christ, hindi nangyayari. Meron na sanang clan, but meron na sanang Jewish nation. Meron na dapat Jewish nation. Ang problema lang, hindi nila na-receive si Jesus Christ. So, kailangan i-divide ninyo ni God yung mga Jewish people. Kaya sabi, di ba? Kaya after nun, ang Israel kinors ni God, yung people of Israel kinors ni God after they crucified Jesus Christ. So, they sent all over the world. <laughs> Ganun ang nangyari. So, da- kailangan um, gibain ni, ni God to yung Jewish nation. Kasi they were not able to fulfill the responsibility. Pag hindi, pag hindi kasi ano yun ni God, um, magiging lahat ng tao, ng Jewish people, magiging magiging clan ni Satan. So, kailangan out of this Jewish nation, Jewish nation kasi, mga Jewish people, out of the Jewish people, meron pa rin meron pa rin uh, makikita si God ng mga believers kay Jesus Christ. Kaya yung konti lang ang naniwala kay, kay Jesus Christ after he was he died. May mga konting naniwala sa kanya, ang tawag sa kanila, kulto. Out of the, ano, kulto ang tawag dun. <laughs> Kaya before ang Christianity naging malaki, kulto pa ang tawag. Konti pa lang naniwala. So, doon nagkaroon ng Christian clan society. Out of those believers. All believers. So, despite severe persecution, Christian clan society gradually proposed in the Roman Empire and developed into a Christian tribal society. So, out of that clan society, nagkaroon ng um, tribal. So, Christian clan society developed into Christian tribal society and the Christian society of Germanic people. So, Christian society expanded briefly as Christianity was brought to the Germanic peoples who migrated into this territory in the latter half of the fourth century. So, yung Christianity, since, since hindi na pwede dun sa Roman Empire, so napunta siya Sir Germanic people, mga Germans. And then, they migrated to uh, in, the, in the latter 4th uh, century. So, kung titinan natin, a feudalistic, and that is, uh, papunta sila sa uh, Europe, Europe. Kaya sabi, sabi ko nila, hindi pumunta sila sa um, Western Europe. So the a feudalistic society, so from clan society, napunta sa tribe society, now dito na tayo sa feudalistic society. Ang feudalistic society was born in Europe when around the fall of the Roman Empire, Uh, the fall of the Roman Empire, imperial authority waned and the empire sunk into chaos. God raised a feudalistic society among the newly Christian 
Christianized Germanic people whom he had chosen to lead the providence by strengthening small units under godly sovereignty in the sphere of religious, political, and economic life. God laid the groundwork to establish the god godly kingdom. So, establish the godly kingdom. So, ito, nag, from, from clan, hindi, hindi mag-stay dun yung providence ni God. Dapat it, it should be developed. Yung history, it should be developed into feudalistic society also. Centering on Christian uh, feudalistic society. So, after ng fall of the Roman Empire, ang newly chosen people are yung mga Germans. Germanic people, and they, they traveled going to Western Europe. So, in order to establish a godly sovereignty in religious, political, and economic life. So, dito mag -e start um, yung development ng religion, politics, and economy. So, centering upon the German people in the Western Europe. Nagkaroon ng feudalistic, kung, kung titin natin kung anong, anong ibig sabihin ng feudalistic society, it is about Feudalism kasi, uh, but basically it's about land, owing the land, kung sino yung ma, malaki yung land, sila yung powerful. And at that time, uh, Christian, yeah, they have, they have this feudalistic society, uh, relig religious siya, but uh, yeah, kasi ang purpose, sabi, sabi, sa, uh, sabi sa divine principle, ang purpose talaga, hindi sinabi dito. <laughs> Ang purpose talaga nito is in order to return the the external world and offer to God. Dapat ang mga ganun ang mangyayari dapat. Merong merong uh, lord, lord kasi ano, na nagro-roll ng ano, ng land na yon. Tapos if, if that lord is centering upon God's providence, ang mangyayari, he has go he has he has to offer all those lands and external things na meron siya offer to God that's that's the that's supposed to be forbidden siya ang mangyayari that's that is why this is one of the reason it is to para ibalik ni God yung mga yung ano ba creation back to God ganun dapat ang um, ano ang, ang purpose nito providentially uh, the feudalism the feudalism feudalism society christian centering upon christian pero um, according to according sa history, ang nangyayari is naging corrupt yung tao. They owned the land but they were not able to uh, use, use it properly. Ganun ang nangyayari. <laughs> Kaya kailangan sirain ni God na naman to. Nag-fail nag na naman sila. Ang Christian feudalistic society, nag sila. So God has to change again the society and develop into another higher level of society centering upon him upon god so since actually nag, nag based on the history nag fail sila even kaya pala sabi ko nung second year high school na nagre-recall yung mga, mga knowledge ko they are studying about the feudalism um division of land and then masyadong selfish yung mga tao especially yung yung lord masyadong selfish is not giving the the fair to the to the people and then basta and then ma, marami na siyang ang ang naging nangyari is naging slaves na yung mga tao is not supposed to to happen like that so yun they failed and then nagkaroon ng monarch, monarchic society and imperialism kasi kung dun pa lang dapat mabilis na sana yung restoration <laughs> mas mabilis na sana yung restoration no need to to reach this monarchic society but since yun nga god if if nagpe-fail yung tao talaga god has to find another way so he needs to develop na, kasi pag mapel yung tao ang society na yon ang the center is satan ang mangyayari ganun ang magiging center si satan so god has to broke up that society and to change another society and that is the monarchic society ngayon pag mag-start naman si god ng monarchic society at tayo nag advance lagi yung si Satan. Mag, mag, pupunta naman si Satan dito. God has to find another way in order to fail this monarchic Christianity. So, yun. Uh, in the sphere of religion, titingnan natin sphere religion, politics, and economy. So, during this time, um, the the system of the government, parang meron ng, meron ng, ano, meron ng proper uh, 
I mean, meron na silang mga rules, mga ganun. Laws na, na pinapalo. Unlike sa, unlike sa, ang tawag nito? During the clan society and um, tribal society, wala pang proper na, ano, di ba? Laws. But during this time, meron na. Kaya, nagkaroon ng religion, politics, and economy. This is, in order, um, ang, bot- ang bottom line naman dito is to prepare for the second coming of the Messiah. Kasi this, 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 time also 17th century yeah 17th century is the preparation in all, in order in order to welcome the messiah okay it's very important also na it needs to be uh, divided what is the development of politics economy and society but ang bottom line talaga dapat malalaman natin kung anong 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 gagawin ng tatlong to dapat supposed to be in the sphere of religion monarchic christianity was a spiritual kingdom which transcended national borders, it was established under the rule of the papacy upon the spiritual foundation for the Messiah. In the, in the political sphere, absolute monarchies flourished from 17th century until the French Revolution in 1789. In the progress of econ, econ, economic history, feudalism was followed by capitalism, which was accompanied by the age of colon, colonial expansion. So, yun. During the 9th century, uh, started 17th century in politics, the 19th century, yun, economy. So, nauna yung religion, right? Based, based sa tingnan mo sa century. Nauna rin yung religion. Kaya ito yung, in terms of culture and de- the our culture and development, lahat na nangyayari sa paligid natin, it is based on religion. Kaya meron tayong mga ganitong, kahit yung politics sa ino- economy, nagbibase siya based on religion. It started from here. It begins with religion. Kung titingnan natin, ay tapos na ata eh. Ay, hindi pa pala. I think next next chapter. Um, yes. Yung mga development ng culture natin, eh, sinabi dun, it started with religion. Kasi, nung unang-una pa lang, there is already a spiritual kingdom under the papacy. 9th century hanggang 16th century. Monarchic society. Ang goal dapat niyan, my spiritual kingdom under the papacy, but that is in order to be in line with the providence of God. Ganon dapat ang mayyare. Ang monarchy, ang monarchy kasi is, di ba parang ruled by king. Monarchy ruled by king, and then ang king siya yung magbibigay ng yon. Um, kaya siya yung may hawak ng power, and then siya yung magaguide sa mga tao. Sa sa tamang paraan. But but then again, here yeah. So, yes, anyway, during this time there is yeah, religion politics started already economy. But during this time, ang monarchic Christianity, they were not able to fulfill the responsibility because ano nangyayari is nagkaroon ng absolute monarchy. Ang absolute monarchy is kung anong gagawin ng king, that is absolute and then walang makaka yun walang walang makaka tigas sa kanya okay sa yun but ang nangyayari is na misuse yung power ng king yun ang yun ang nangyayari the, the king misuses this power he uses the religion di ba Chris di ba pag-aralan naman natin sa Roman Roman history di ba na even yung priest or yung sila yung nagkaroon ng power but ginamit lang nila yung, na, ang, ang tendency ginamit na yung religion para magkaroon ng wealth nagko-collect ng wealth tapos basta ma, malaman malaman natin yan sa inaam sa history ng Roman Empire so yun ang nangyari they misuse their power na supposed to be yun na, na nakuha na naman ni God ay nakuha na naman ni Satan yung monarchy Christianity so God has to find another way. So, ang development nila dapat is to, receive, is to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. But it never happened. So, of course, na-establish na yung politics, uh, religion, politics, and economy. So, they, ha- they misuse the power. So, ang monarchic society, it, it is not, kailangang i-broke na naman ni God yan. Kaya nga, hindi, wala nang masyado nag- Wala nang monarchic masyado. May monarchy pala ba? Pa ba ngayon? Kung mayroon pa sa Englander. Kung mayroon man, pero hindi, hindi katulad dati that 
monarchy talaga yung kaya na na nawawala ay ganung kind of society is because they misuse uh, the power and then God has to break that uh, kind of society and God has to find another way in order to uh, develop the, his providence so God began a process that would eventually tear down monarchic societies and raise up democracies in their place in order to rebuild to rebuild diba rebuild a sovereign nation fit to receive the messiah in the politics sphere the democratic the politics sphere the democratic movements who rose in the late 18th century gave rise to revolutions in england america and france giving birth to today's democratic society so the crown of democracy yan ang goal ng uh, democracy it is to rebuild a sovereign society or sovereign nation in order to fit the receive to receive the messiah so ginamit nila yung yung yun ang uh, role ng democracy why it happens because kung titingnan natin yung democracy ruled by the people uh ilang mag-aral ulit dimutan ko din ito no so yun ruled by the by people, the people and by, for by, the people Yes, by the people and for the people. And socialism. Hindi naman talaga masama dapat to eh. Sinasabi to ni Father, it's happened because it is to receive the Messiah, but minsan nga na misuse yung freedom na tinatawag. Kaya. So, the politics began, the democracy, yung, yung, kung tinta natin sa politics, uh, started, uh, nagkaroon na, doon nag-start yung democracy, 18th century. So, So nagkaroon na din ng revolution. And ko alam na natin based on our uh, religion pala yan. But here, nagkaroon na rin ng revolution sa England, America and France. Then oh, sa religion ito, Protestant Reformation 1517. Meron din democratic Christianity. Meron din bang ano, uh, monarchic Christianity ngayon, democratic Christianity na mayroon nang nagkaroon ng ganun. So in sphere of religion, meron ng democratic Christianity. Centering nga pa ng uh, democracy uh, way of ano, government. Then politics, democracy din. Then economy, socialist socialist ideals. So, 21st century. Democratic form of uh, 20th century. Pa democratic form of uh, economy. So nag-develop yung sphere of religion, politics, and economy. So in in addition to that, uh, re, uh, religion or democratic Christianity is initiated by the Reformation, na inumbisan yeah, yeah. ni Martin Luther the Reformist when he when he saw the nakita niya yung uh, misuse ng authority ng religion na parang uh, ang Roman Church Roman Catholic Church is parang you cannot go to heaven if you will not give your your property so owning a property means you are continuously staying in hell kaya doon nag-spark yung protestant reformation with the 1990s of Martin Luther to reform the church na hindi dapat ganon. hindi lang ang entrance to the heaven is not only limited to the church but every individual should have a individual connection so the purpose of the church is to connect the people to god hindi yung church ang hindi na kasentro sa church ang connection ng tao but it should be connected directly to God pero ang nangyari uh, napunta sa sa structure lang yung connection ng tao and because of that nagkaroon ng yun nga nagkaroon ng Protestant Ref- Reformation and actually ang pinaka main goal ni Martin Luther during that time is to awaken the church but he was kicked out from the church And the one who the one who accepted it is those people who are protesting against the mother church. Kaya doon nagsimula na lumakas yung protestantism and they wanted to to topple down the the main church itself, no? And then from there nag-arise yung mga iba't ibang mga revolution because of the protestantism, nag-arise ang iba't ibang revolution centering on the different thinkers. And nandiyan na yung revolution in England, America, and France. Na, kaya ang, ang France nagbigay ng liberty sa America as a sign of their commitment to work together. And that is a political structure to reform the government and, and develop into a democratic form of government wherein 
uh, ang centro of the government is not on the leader. Hindi yung absolute power na sa leader, but it is coming from the people who will decide uh, what are the things that the leader should be doing and the, the concern of the of the leader. So parang ang, ang inaano ng demo, uh, democratic form of government in politics is the leader should stand as a parent that will look for the need of the children and siya yung magiging provider ng need ng mga anak. And then from there, if uh, the father is the one who takes care of the children, even in the in the economy, dapat equal ang distribution ng economy kaya nagkaroon ng demo, democratic form of economy. Wherein, uh, doon na lumabas yung dapat pare-pareho, walang mahirap, walang mayaman. Nagyan naman ang ginamit ni, Mar- ni ni Karl Marx in order to establish yung yung uh, a communist form of government na equal rights of property naman ang ginawa niya doon. Wow. So from the democratic okay. form of society. Mm-hmm. Yun yung ano yun. Uh, democratic form of economy na equal distribution. Pero hindi naman yun yung sinasabi niya na equal distribution. Ngunit ang sinasabi niya sa democratic form of uh, economy is equal distribution na hindi yung, hindi yung property na akin to tapos ako lang magde-develop nito but tayong lahat magde-develop nito for the sake of everybody. And pero ang nangyari kasi nagkaroon ng individual property. Kaya yun yung namuo ngayon na yung uh, na divide ngayon ang ang buong mundo because of land ownership. Na hindi maibigay ng mga tao. Actually nagsimula pa rin yun sa feudal lords hanggang sa monarchic form of government na centering on one one ruler na magrurule throughout the world. Kaya kung titigan mo, yung yung sultanate natin sa sa Mindanao, yung sultanate natin sa Sulu, it is the most respected kasi siya yung most powerful among the kings. Even yung king ng ng Middle East is nagbabaw sa king natin sa sa ano, sa Mindanao kasi ang wealth is nanggaling talaga dito sa sa Pilipinas. Okay. Oh. Yung gold distribution ng buong mundo is nagsimula sa Pilipinas. Wow. Kaya yung kwan, yung 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 parang ano tawag nun, supply na gold na ano, it is being given to the Sultanate of the Philippines sa hindi pa Philippines sa Sulu. Sa Sulu pa, yung yung Maharlikan Maharlikan Kingdom na ano yon. So nandoon yung kung sino may hawak kasi ng supply na yon yung gold na yon yun yung ruler ng buong mundo. Pero that is in preparation for that is in preparation for the coming of the Messiah na pagdating ng Messiah, okay? As the ruler, he should bow down to the coming Messiah and offer everything to the Messiah. So dapat ganoon na mangyari pero it didn't happen because of naging corrupt ang mga leaders. Hindi yung naka sa Connecting the people to God, but it is connecting the people to themselves. Kaya during that time, ando doon na lahat ng klase ng pang-abuso. Okay. Parang yung sa Germanic tribe. Ang Germanic tribe is uh, for for the establishment of Christian, uh, the expansion of Christianity against uh, uh, ano ba tawag yun? Yung yung mga pinatay ni Hitler? Jews. Oh, mga Jews. No? Mm. Para sa gano'ng ma- maano mga Jews, ang purpose nung, nung Germanic tribe is to awaken the Jewish leadership na the Messiah is already here. Pero ang mm. nangyari, naging selfish Hitler dahil sa hatred niya sa kanyang ama. Kaya yun ang nangyari. Nagkaroon ng self selfish motivation. Kaya hindi na, natupad yung original plan for Germanic tribe to rule over the world. Ngunit nagkaroon ng na-hook into a uh, self-centered tribal tribal group na hindi dapat ganun. But they should be the one to embrace. And even nag-arise na rin ng ibang religion ng pinaka-purpose is all of this religion should be united towards the Messiah. Pero what did happen is every religion, they 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 block the way for the people to be connected to the Messiah. Katulad ng ginagawa ng, ng Roman Catholic ngayon. Instead of bringing the people to true parents, they are the one who block true parents. And sila yung nagbabrand kay true parents as what? Culto. Yan, as a cult or even as a 
non-religious sect and parang satanic, uh, sect. satanic kingdom, developing mm-hmm. a satanic kingdom and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero kung titignan natin, sila dapat yung mag-proclaim kay True Father na once they proclaim ng Catholic, ng Pope si Father as the Messiah, the whole world should follow. Okay. Oh and then in political God. sphere, United Nations should be the one that will uh, that will proclaim the Messianic Kingdom here on earth. Kaya walang ibang ginawa si Father but to lay the foundation for Roman Catholic to be awakened and the United Nations to be awakened. Kaya oh after 40 years of his mission, wala siyang magawa but to really lay the, the worldwide foundation in preparation for cosmic level uh, foundation of restoration. So, yun yung yun yung yun yung flow of development from religion, politics and economy. And then yung next slide, Herwin. Sige ba? Yan yung development of idealism eh, from separation from God and Satan na ano. Ah. Yan. So, ang pinaka form, ang pinaka ultimate na ma-form dapat centering on the Messiah is mawala tong uh, communist world and the kingdom of heaven will be as, will be the one to rise up but because of the failure of christianity to accept the messiah nagkaroon ng battle between uh, communist world and democratic world kaya nung time ng time ng 1970s 1970s to 1980s yan yung strong fight of idealism centering on communism and Democrat, democratic form of government. Na yun yung, yun yung ilang beses nagkaroon ng life-threatening si Father in order to protect the uh, Christianity centering on America. Kaya yun din yung ginamit ni Father why na, nagkaroon, siya ng, nagkaroon siya ng proclamation ng landslide, Reagan landslide oh, during the election. Mm. Kasi that is a battle na very strong ang communism during that time and in order for for the democratic form of government to be protected, uh, True Father need to do something to to change the atmosphere. Kaya kahit hindi pa natapos ang election, pinalabas ni Father na nag, nag-publish siya ng, ng publication na kinalat sa buong Amerika na Reagan landslide. And naging ano mga tao, kaya nag, na-aware sila na ay, kumbaga parang na-twist yung mind nila. So na-protectahan ang ang democratic form of government and from there from the protection of democratic form of government in in America yun ay nag-expand sa buong mundo kaya nagkaroon tayo ng uh, kausa kausa nag na, nag-spearhead ang kausa na yun yung ginamit nila and really to fight against uh, uh, communist insurgency in the Philippines pati si pati si Ramos and din yun din ang yun din ang embrace ni Marcos na na ano para ma-stop ang infiltration ng communism in the Philippines and in other country. Okay. So, yun yung sa development ng rising of the heavenly kingdom na dapat uh, during those times uh, ang United Nations dapat they should already been embracing true father and they they should be following true true father's uh, peace legacy in order to establish the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Pero ang ano din, ang United Nations din centering on political sphere, it is being uh, handled by mga business tycoons sa Amerika na hindi nila matanggap na paano maging Messiah ang Asian. Dapat from from Caucasian ang magiging Messiah. Kaya sila rin yung nag-block during the time kaya isa sa ginamit nila na ginamit nila ang kwan, ginamit nila ang ang Protestant group in America in order to put Father into jail. Para sa ganun, may stop yung influence ni Father pero akala nila may stop pero hindi na, hindi nangyari yun kasi even in Russia during that time, Father is already starting to lay the foundation for the disbanding of Russia. So nung pumasok yung perestroika policy center on Gorbachev, yun yung strengthen ni Father kaya na, na disband ang USSR and naging Russia na lang siya ngayon. Republic. And then after that, uh, Gorbachev was being assassinated. And when True Father went to North Korea to 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 disband the 
the Juche ideology of North Korea, sinunod naman nila si Kim Il-sung. Pero bago namatay si Kim Il-sung, nagkaroon ng absolute proclamation na uh, unification movement is the only one that is allowed to to work for the peace and unity of North and South Korea. Mm. Oh my God. So that is the that is the history for the preparation of the Messianic Kingdom. Kaya kung titignan natin, nung, nung 2013, lahat is very ripe na yung proclamation ni Father na Chun Il-guk era on earth. Kasi dapat Ando doon na kasi nung na-establish yung peace uh, ano tawag nun, yung peace building sa neutral zone sa North Korea nung inalaw na nagkaroon ng neutral zone pinapasok ang ang P- peace motors doon sa North Korea ah. and nagkaroon ng na-open yung railway na direct direct from north to south para makapag-meet yung mga re- relatives. Na uh, 2013 it should already been the proclamation of the uh, Chun Il-guk sa Korea. Doon na doon mag-start yung Korea. Kaya kung titignan natin, bago nagkaroon election during the time, father father push leadership sa yung mga leaders natin sa Korea na pumasok sa pa- political pa- politics ng sa ganun, hindi maging mabi- mahirap yung issue ng North and South Korea. Pero because of the failure of uh, the leadership that we have during that time, ipinagtawanan yung sinabi ni father na run for the position na dapat na either si mother maging president dapat ng South Korea during that time, hindi nangyari yun. And because of that, hanggang ngayon, we are still working for the fulfillment yeah, yeah, yeah. of the kingdom of, or yung, yung Chun Il-guk. We are now in the eighth year of Chun Il-guk, pero yung substantial Chun Il-guk, we are still raising it. Pero dapat natapos na sana yun. So we should now be living in the kingdom of heaven where God is preparing us. Dapat sana ngayon we are already in the era wherein everybody can live in inter- interdependence, mutual prosperity and universally shared values. So nagkaroon na sana tayo ng one world, one global family under God. But because of the failure of Christianity. Oh. Yeah. Kaya nga yung kuan yung kung ma-remember niyo yung yung proposal ni Father na na interreligious council sa United Nations that is just the beginning for true father to influence. <laughs> na dapat siya yung maging main advisor ng United Nations for peace process. Pero blinak na mga ni na Bill Gates, blinak na mga Rockefeller and blinak na mga member ng G7 kasi mawawalan sila ng authority to with their political ambition to to finance yung mga great generator ng kanilang finances. Yeah, up until this time, true mother still um, parang nagle-leg work pa rin si mother na dapat hindi na kasi ang foundation sa United Nations is already and doon na yung foundation na dapat i-proclaim na lang si Father as the Messiah. So pag pinaklaim si Father sa Mekasaya Center ng United Nation, tapos sinuportahan yun ng, ng uh, Roman Catholic, uh, Roman Catholicism, nagkaroon na sana ng unity ng religion and politics centering on the peace, uh, ano patawag rin, yung establishment of uni, uni, unified uh, world and then peace kingdom. Mm. Pero hindi nangyari yun because of the... Uh, self-interest of both politics and uh, religious sector. Kaya walang ibang ginawa kundi mag si Father ng another foundation for him to recognize hanggang sa, yun nga, lumabas na yung, yung mga dreams, yung mga visionaries na nadidream nila si Father na si leader of their religion. Kaya pumasok yung Global Peace Citizen na book ni Father na naging uh, number one na bestseller sa buong mundo. So all of these things, uh, this should be a stronger foundation for true father to be proclaimed as the Messiah. Pero because of the limitations of we as member din na nagkakaroon ng uh, humanistic, humanistic uh, ano tawag nun? 
uh, humanistic look centering on the providential activity of true father, yun yung naging hindrance. Mm. Okay. So yun yung buong, buong history from uh, the from Israel up to the prolong, prolongation of the establishment of God's kingdom up to the pre era of the messianic era in the present era that we have. Now, pinaka main purpose is yung substantialization of Chunil Gok to be a worldwide proclamation and a worldwide community where people can freely look at each other as true brothers and sisters. Okay. Ano pa bang next dun? Wala na, sir. Yung ginagawa, yung last, ni... Oh, yung ginagawa ni mother ngayon, eh, ginagawa, ginawa yun ni father dati, di ba? Ginagawa niya lang yun dati. Mm, yung ginagawa ni mother ngayon is uh, to to gather the attention of the people na hindi dito ng mesaya. Actually, yung nung pumasok si True Father, si na True Parents sa United Nations Center on UPF, kaya nga pinanoclaim niya, di ba? Uh, ABEL-UN saka KIN-UN. Nang ABEL-UN should work together with KIN-UN and they should work together as brothers and sisters to handle the the peace peace process worldwide centering on influencing all political leaders and then the seat of ambassadors and the security council nang security council is hawak siya ng ng G7 yung G7 na may hawak ng security council uh, mag uh, magkaroon pero ang tinitingnan pa rin ng G7 is kung paano sila maka kuha ng, ng makalikom ng pera for their own benefit. Mm. Kaya nga yung speech ni Father na the seat of Security Council is they just thinking of what they can get more than how they can help each other. Pero ang pinaka main purpose ng United Nations is to support dapat yung neutral peace process na wala silang wala silang self-motivation in in giving in, in middling into a conflicting countries throughout the world. Na yun yung gustong i-counteract ni Father during that time na dapat yun yung finocus ng ng Universal Peace Federation to strengthen yung yung influence niya hanggang sa ma-establish yung yung security yung uh, religious interreligious council sa United Nations. Pero that was not realized kaya ngayon ang ginagawa ni Mother is siya yung nagle-leg work para sa ganun Ma maawaken ang mga political leaders centering on the rally of hope na uh, proclaiming to them that the Messiah is already here. Now, once they will be working with the Messiah, that's the only time that the or the true uh, true peace and also yung uh, true nation na under God will be realized. Kasi yung sinasabi ng United Nations na they are they are establishing a, a real nation for God. But they are just using that banner in order to protect their own interest to to get wealth from others. Okay. Yeah, hanggang sa ngayon, that's still the the issue that we're having. But it's supposed yeah, to happen. Yeah, we are still minority. Huh? Supposed to happen before before pa. Been na your father still alive. Supposedly. Supposed to Dapat happen. Dapat right? yun. Yeah. Kaya nga si Father noon, marami siyang inano na all around the world dapat meron mag mag-eye for a higher position in the government from from the members. Kaya nagpadala siya ng mga iba't ibang mga expertise sa, sa iba't ibang country, mo, especially sa uh, kung kung tignan niyo ang kwan, ang uh, yung karamihan sa concentration ng mga mga best na mga ano tawag nan mga business ni father na yung talaga nagje-generate ng ng technological transformation aside from ah, Korea yeah. and Japan meron sa meron sa ano meron sa Germany sa sa Europe meron din sa America kaya yung Wacom na sig electronic signature is uh, sa America nag-start yun ma remember ko kanina nung nandoon ako sa sa kwan uh, sa assembly sa hindi po yung kanin nung nasa ano kanina nasa Western Union yung electronic signature nila doon is uh, 
made by Wacom. Oh. Ito is yung Wacom, Wacom company is yun yung electronic company sa Amerika na, na inano ni father to yung electronic signature. Pero okay. binenta rin kasi yun ng mga, mga members nung hindi nila maintindihan yung purpose ni father bakit niya ginawa yung, bakit niya inorganize yung under yun pa rin yun ng tong heavy industry. So, kuya, man, 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 ano nga, sa ngayon, because so it is already to mother, ano dapat ang role ng Germany at saka ng Europe for the firm establishment of Chinese Group? It should be, Absolutely. dapat sila yung financial back But aside from the, ano, yung pangbaga, dapat mag sila to other nations financially. Uh, kung titignan natin, establish ni father yung, kwan, diba, yung, yung elder yung father father nation mother nation elder son, elder son okay. uh, younger son elder daughter second daughter hanggang third daughter nation dapat okay. all of these countries na mga ano na to ito mga countries na to na merong designation na mga mga Significant family position ship yeah. mm-hmm. meron silang role dapat na they, ang ang role ng elder brother dapat siya yung mag-organize sa mga younger brother to completely unite with true mother with true parents during that time and dahil wala na si father ngayon uh, sila dapat yung mag-organize sa buong mundo to work with mother Kaya pala, together with with Korea and Japan they should be working closely together ah I see so kaya pala ngayon true mother is working so hard to really push WCLC in America para siya yung mag maggrow mag maglead nung lahat ng influence uh, oo para sa buong mundo yeah oh, see, understand alam mo kuya uh, ano pala kwento mo na to ha uh, i'm just kaya nagwa-wonder din ako kasi just nakasa <laughs> joker kay naka naka-appeal lagi ko sa kanang world leaders assembly tapos wala jud ko i know how kuya problematic ko ay, it is very amazing na yung WCLC at saka yung pinakang very favorable verdict of the UCI mm. is exactly, it had happened exactly 400 years after Christianity has arrived to America. So, yun yung parang din, parang when Kuya Heron was explaining about the 400 years uh, restoration, uh, prolongation of restoration sa, sa panahon Yan ko kami mas basta to Jesus Christ and ano ba yon? Uh, Moses, yeah. Moses ba? Ah, but sa to. Kuan. Malakay to Jesus. Oh, I think it has something to do with the present and then true mother has uh, had played a very significant role on that aspect. Karon, uh, marag na timely na pud kayo because but on the other hand, it should be the mother the feminine aspect of God, substantial manifestation of feminine aspect of God na talaga, the completion na of the, of the central figure, the Messiah, the Father. Ah, uh, marag na siya, ang bot, hindi na ako ma-explain, pero it, Reverend Yong, 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 who? Katong, ano, secretary. Yun, Yong, ha? Yeah. Yahan ang gi, 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 ano, marag gi highlight. And also, the, the, emergence of true mother in in korea as the ano as the yeah so then there's the feminine aspect of god ikaw nga, has happened exactly 100 years yung pag exist ay yung pag emerge talaga ni mother pagkatao um yeah 100 years and also maragi ano ni lagi it is one or part of the miracle na sinabi nila Naman to is three great miracles na dimension dito to ah, nalimot ko sa isa. Basta, uh, yeah, isa yung WCLC, tapos yung favorable ano, um, verdict of the UCI in our favor na return na, na dagan kaayo ang mga ano. But yeah, yun isa sa mga nag wonder na ako katong di, pangutang na ako sa imuha na yun sa role ng Europe at saka ng, ng Germany para sa restoration na ma, ma- completely ano ma realize good. So, ano pa ba? Napabaya ako ng ano. Nalimot ko sa uban. Kaya nga importante yung impo- importante yung mga mga members natin from those 
from those countries na ma-proclaim ni father to really work hard to support through mother. Kasi kung titingnan natin, after father pass away, the one who will complete everything is no other than si true mother. Oh. And Kaya true mother is sa, more uh, ang mother kasi is more more embraceful than than the father. Eh. Kaya oh, ang final touch no other than the mother. Kaya nga sinabi ni Father na after na natapos yung 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 era ni Father after niya na lay yung foundation for for cosmic level foundation it is the era of women's nang sumunod women's era So there, there is a very great uh, necessity for us all brothers and sisters members to truly unite with your mother or else uh, although God's providence will still continue to exist and be developing pero dapat during the time of true mother na ang naging substantial na joint na siya na to mga anak. Kaya nga importante na while God. somebody's working working for a bigger political political influence dapat continuous din yung education sa ano para mag-meet both uh, lower sa ka higher level and they will meet at the middle centering on mm-hmm. the common education na walang iba kundi yung principle na ano. Kaya mm-hmm. kung titigan mo, di ba, walang ibang inano si mother kundi uh, puro lahat ng mga mga magjojoy ng blessing they should go back to study the principle again and then understand again the principle para sa ganun magkaroon ng solid foundation yung faith nila. Actually, Even yung mga na. true grandchildren. Di ba? Okay. Even yung mga true grandchildren pinapadala niya into seven days divine principle workshop. And even yung mga mga high high political leaders, ang inaano niya is sineset up niya yung education nila with the divine principle para mas maintindihan nila yung role nila how they can really work together with the Messiah. Because that's the only way. At saka pala kuya, ano, uh, diniklear talaga kanina, kanina, na si mother is the mother of reunification sa among members. So, we should be able to dapat maging very proud tayo to to really ano, share to all people. Lalo na, or maybe give. Ang direction, <laughs> una-una niya ako kuya, ang direction kanya na ako na donggan <laughs> sa ilaha is to really give, <laughs> nasa limposa ako doon eh, Um, to really give a use yun ba uh, sa Chunil Gok uh, Chunil Gok as leaders assembly, assembly ganin natin opo actually kuya hmm. nakasalay nga po ako ng tatlong araw it was it was a blessing pero yun <laughs> I know I'm not pero siguro coincidence lang basta nakapirkod to tapos magwalita ko sa inyo yeah parang I know this is just among us but I say daily I'm not in the position to say anything of course ahead pero um yun yun yung direction na dapat kung sa witnessing natin, gamitin natin ang True Mother's Memoir for witnessing. And um, one good thing akong na, na, yun na, ano, natatak sa ako is IHQ. Actually, yung ginamit ko yan na platform is not Zoom, it is Buddha. Kaya na, na ano ko din, na grasp ko din yung sinasabi mo na yung technological advancement is hindi hindi talaga nahuhuli ang tayo mm-hmm. kasi yung ginamit na ano kasi there were thousands of of leaders ang mga central leaders there about 600 pero yung mga sub leaders there are thousands of them of us apelo garmi ako and so ang ginamit na platform was not zoom because zoom cannot facilitate it and it is yeah na it is the 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 innovation of, of the internal innovation ng movement ang nakaano na doon uh, ang ang gumawa talaga noon it's not outside pala kaya nakikita ko tapos ano doon din na ano din niya yung education na sinasabi ng warm to tom from warm to tom na education ano mayroon na silang IHQ has been developing that na yung ang educa- ang ang, educa- ang ang form of education natin a form or what is this how do you call this yung parang education format yeah is or education na, platform 
Mm-hmm. Platform is called, yeah, culture na kuya. Yung, ang story is more about on, for example, paano ituturo yung patriotism, honesty and respect. For example, is, meron na silang... Practical di- application. Yes, kuya. Practical nag- application na mga... Yan, nag-develop talaga ang IHQ na, of which I think leaders are very excited to see that. Nga. Parang, ako ba, I feel elated na, uh, kasi it is, they realize na, uh, it is very late already when when you are going to kaya siguro in connection also da sa multimedia responsible media ano is kasi technological advancement is it is already very late when we have to educate our children when they are already like on the elementary elementary age oh uh, yeah elementary to or senior high or high school or college yan na. so kaya meron na tayong mga ganung mga ano mga actually ready na talaga siguro ganit siya to be ano to be ano yante is that for members or members for outside for, people for everyone education think, outside people ah, okay yeah kasi general education general na ano general education na, na siya talaga kaya nga parang na amuse ako na oh my god yeah. we we talk about that we have different cultures actually kung tutingnan mo sa outside people so, I know, members pero, lang madali lang yun pero pag Uh, pero kuya, ko, yung, yung nakita ko, alam mo, yung, kasi when we talk about culture, say for example, when we talk about respect, mm. uh, when we talk about uh, patriotism, loyalty, filial loyalty, piety, yeah. Yeah. Ganun, it's, it, that's very general eh. Hindi naman kailangan sa members lang yan eh. Kaya nga siguro yun yung ano, kasi sample lang yun, pero yun yung naintindihan ko na, wow, Uh, we are really advancing that for, we are really advancing a lot already na kita yeah uh, maybe our 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 actions na, na i feel elated talaga na wow kanang naging part ako dani sa ato ang gibuhat kay kanang yung animation yes, actually, yan ate yung sinasabi animation mo, no animation uh, na talaga animation um, animation siya no ano Animation na okay. siya talaga. Okay. Yung ready Nakita na talaga siya. Nakita ko siya nung Sunday. Mm-mm, parang ganun na. Kasi, It's very nice. Naghahanap nung asawa. Naghahanap si Ray nung linggo na ano. Na hindi niya kaagad nakuha yung link. Tapos nasa ba? Ang una niyang nakuha yung link yung Sunday service sa Korea. So, yun yung... Actually, nanood o una ako ng Sunday service sa Korea. Nag-discuss yun. Yun yung report ni Reverend Yun yung, oh? Yeah, yung secretary ni Tomahawk. Oh, siya rin yung nagsabi. Kaya Parang na, through technology ni tapos Technology. Panood yan. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. yeah, ano na, siya? Na, parang yun like yung ano? Parang, parang kulibang, ewan ko kung parang yun. Kung Dorimon, like that. Kung nasa, TV. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Parang yun ano? Uh, After lang, pinakaano niyan yung kwan, yung yung sa yung video sa Chongpyong dati. Hmm. Kung ma-remember niyo yung kwan yung Angel's Whisper. Hmm. Angel's Whisper hmm. na video. Ganun yun na kung ano dapat ang gawin ng tao, yun yung pinepresent sa video. Hmm. Na ano yung mga mangyari sa halimbawa, habang rinerestore diba sa, sa Angel's Whisper? Habang nagpupunta ka sa Chongpyong, naliliberate, kwenekwento yung paano naliberate yung mga evil spirit sa katawan natin. So, mm-hmm. ang pinepresento mo ed- education material na yun is kahit nasaan ka, ba? Diba, yung culture bounded na ma- yung although sinasabi na isang culture na iba-iba ang culture natin pero ang source ng culture natin is sa dependent sa nasa feeling ng heart natin. And ang pinaka-common is isa lang kung ano yung, ano yung nakakasakit sa mga Pilipino, yun din ang nakakasakit sa mga Amerikano. Nakakasakit sa mga East, uh, European and so others. Mm. Na isa lang yung klase ng heart na meron tayo. I think parang pambata talaga you know, kasi yung ano na yan. Pag gano'n ang mangyayari. Oh, kasi I pag generalize yeah. natin, ang yeah, story na gano'n, makakarelate yung mga matatanda and then Para recall din yung mga ganun, dapat ganun. 
supposed to be ganun dapat gagawin mo nga bata. Yeah, magsugod kasi Para sa yung mga very young age. Yeah. Yes, kuya. Ganun ang nangyaman. Kasi ang, ang starting ng culture development is kuan eh, habang bata pa eh. Dapat mm. i-ano mo na, i-familiarize mo na siya. Kaya nga, di ba, even sa mga psychologists ngayon, sinasabi nila na kung gusto mong maging mabuti ang bata, wag mong sabihin na wag mo siyang uh, i-educate na that is bad. But igro yeah. mo siya in identity na yeah, it is not manner. good. Mm-hmm. Positive way parang sa ganun. Instead na ma- magkaroon siya ng, ng comparison between good and evil, mawala na yung essence ng, ng evil. But the only thing that he will be measuring is the presence yeah. of goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is why yung... Uh, hindi niya titignan negatively na evil yan or bad yan. But that is not good na... Pag sinabi natin that is not good, that is against the good thing that is being practiced. Kung hindi man siya against, meron siyang limitation na dapat improve nang sa ganun it will develop into become good. Yeah, so it, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yun yung pinakano na. No? It will really work talaga kahit ano pang culture mo pag ganun yung pinapalabas sila. Mga yes, bata. Yes, kuya. Oo. Kaya nga, very ano siya, animation Thinking uh, if pag bata. mga, uh, pag matatanda yung para mga video, masyado kasing ano na yung matatanda eh, yung uh, culture na hindi naman talaga necessary. Pero pag mga bata kasi generalized na ang basic niyan is just respecting the parents yung pinaka ano yun. So that's, I think, yan yung ano sa uh, ISQ siguro. Sana mo magkaroon. Sabi ko nga, ay sana magkaroon ng ano yan. Subtitle na English. <laughs> kasi Tagalog Korean pe. Oh, Korean Para sa mga ano, HTM. <laughs> oh. Send them Korean. Diba ate, yung lang, yung... I think lang, bibilis yung ano yan, yung education. Yeah, I think that... Talagang kuya, ganun yun ganun din. Ganun lang. Yun Mamanood yun. lang yung mga bata sa loob ng bahay. Bigyan na lang TV na yung ano, yung STM na malaki. O yun lang. I think uh, really helps actually. Actually, mag-provide na lang tayo ng TV tapos manood na lang sila doon. Parang yung kan, parang like, remember ko si, si Shin Il ano? dati, yung anak ko. Hmm. Yung anak ko ang ginawa lang niya dati is pinanood niya nang pinanood yung Angel's Whisper. Parang 24 hours yun yung yun yung lang ginagawa niya, nanood siya ng Angel's Whisper hanggang memoryado mm-hmm. niya. Tapos pagka meron kang gagawin, sasabihin niya na naku, yung mga, mas mas inaano mo na noon, binibigyan mo ng chance yung mga evil spirit to influence you. Mga ganun na setup ba? Nakakatawa. Uh, no? So, ganun gawin ng gagawin ng mga HTM ngayon. I-education na bibigyan na ng CD. Tapos panuorin lang nila. Dapat araw-araw. At saka hindi lahat Madali na lang. Kuya, hindi lang ano. Even Pati. even all agencies in the government needs that. Kasi biski ganig tigulang na. We even forget what is true respect in essence. Kay, grabe na ba yeah, ka... Yeah, grabe na ba kay ka adulterated ang mindset ng tao. So, it's really... Very... Pero ngayon, tayo, actually, kung titingnan mo, mas naniwala talaga ako sa principle na sinasabi na yung yung mindset ng mga tao nagde-develop siya tapos nag-search ng ideals. Yeah, it is. It is. Na mga sa social media. Sa ngayon, ya yeah, sa ngayon. Already on that stage na kasi hindi mo mamaawat. But to ano, parang to support that, to hasten eh ka nga nung mission natin at saka well to mother. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yung mission natin at saka nang well to mother is still probably. alive. Yeah, kasi we cannot wait. Gaya nga sabi ni mother hindi na tayo ma- hindi na tayo makakapagantay. Pass so forward. I think yeah, yun yung ginagawa talaga na wow. Yung, wow. But sa sa younger generation at saka sa mga older generation, they should have the same education na magkaroon ng common common culture na it's a practice of interdependence, mutual prosperity and universally shared values. Yung dinidiscuss natin kanina. Ano na lang gagawin natin ano yun? Nang... <laughs> ha? No, kuya, ang dami, ang, dami, ang, dami, ang dami, no, ang dami pa rin kasi namang ano, ang dami pa rin. Importante yun. Pa. Actually, hindi lecturer ang kailangan eh. Ang kailangan is true educator. Ng, Educators talaga. True educator ang kailangan. Kasi ang dami pwede magbigay nun, pero yung mag-educate, yun ang kulang eh. Kaya nga yun yung re-raise natin, yung educator. Yun yung kailangan natin ngayon eh. Pero okay Kasi yan, madali lang mag-inspire eh. Okay din yan support sa ano, support example sa HTM. 
maganda rin may ganyang ano mapabilis yung pag o may link sila na ano yung yung sa DP natin pwede nating gawa ng ganyan din eh video para actually ang ang ginagawa ng IHQ ko yeah, is parang kung ma-remember niyo yung kuan yung yung World Encyclopedia na pwedeng i-access ng lahat tapos pwede kang mag-browse doon. Yun yung dinedevelop nila na lahat ng mga mga speeches ni Father, lahat ng mga mga uh, lectures education na ni Father, kino-compile nila yun sa isang isang web na pwedeng i-link ng pwedeng i-browse ng lahat anywhere in the world. Kino-consolidate nila lahat ngayon. Pinag-iisa nila lahat ngayon lahat-lahat ng mga materials na kinakailangan natin. And then, to supplement yung mga yun, is yun nga yung mga ginagawa nila ngayon na mga uh, presentation para sa mga bata, tapos yung mga videos para sa mga matatanda na ano. Yung centering on uh, how to practice yung, yung interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universally shared values. Paano siya embody, paano siya gagawin na walang boundary kung kahit anong anong nation kagaling ko anong tradition anong culture ngunit yung real essence of uh, having one tradition and one culture so kaya nga nagcreate nag nagcreate na rin sila ng historical committee di ba sa IHQ ngayon ng hmm. historical committee sila maggather ng mga ginawa ni father ginawa ni na true parents in every nation na pagsamasamahin nila sa isang ano lang isang compilation ng lahat yun para makita na ang Messiah is hindi lang yung yung negative na nakikita nila but there's so many things na ginagawa niya on the background at saka kuya yung ano significance of the existence of true mother dahan-dahan yeah. na po nila talagang inano yung kumbaga makikita na ng tao ano gaano pala ka significant si mother tapos ano din? Gano'ng ka-importante yung yeah, presence ni Mother ngayon sa... Yeah, the present time. And then, meron... I don't know if I hear it right. Parang, i-rewrite yata ang mga... Ano, may maraming i-rewrite si Chumara. Ano, ate? Parang may i-rewrite. I- based... I don't know how... I don't know if I got the right term. Pero yun yung ano ko, na based on the, yun yung sinabi nga ni Kuya, yung mga, inter, mga his, yung nagko-compile ng history sa lahat ng mga ginawa ni ng true parents sa lahat ng nations. At saka, base na din siguro sa, sa parang, di ba ang mga messages ni Father, parang uh, may mga, red, yung paulit-ulit, parang, ano, mayroong, mayroong siyang, Mayroon mang message mayro siguro silang gagawin na mas clear, mas precise, mas parang ina na ako na organized, organized. organized. Oo. Marang mayroon Kasi nung binasa namin sa 120 days yung lahat ng speeches ni Father. May mga sa isang libro may naulit actually. Sabi ko na nabasa na natin to ah. <laughs> Kani na. <laughs> ulit. Parang may narinig yeah. kaya. Yan lang ang ginawa actually. Diri ay actually ang ginawa, ang ginawa lang kasi nila is kinumpay nila yung mga speeches ni Father sa iba't ibang iba't ibang speaking tour niya, iba't ibang speaking engagement as kinategorize nila based dun sa ano. Pero uh-huh. yung sinistematize talaga na uh, parang parang ginawa yung 66 books of the Bible uh-huh. na kinumpay lang yung mga mga messages ng mga apostles. Uh-huh. Tapos yun yung ginawang ginawang book. Pero ang Ang gagawin nila ngayon is tiba yun sa dun sa original na Chong Sung Yong, meron mm-hmm. siyang specific topic, specific na mga subject matter per book. Mm-hmm. Na nag-uulit diba? siya. Per book na ano. Tapos yun ngayon, ang iano nila is lahat na mga mga okay. sinabi ni Father regarding that one, how we can do it. And then yung, yung mga practical example na inano ni Father, i-compile nila lahat yun sa ganon. Ano Kung baga, gagawa talaga sila ng systematic book mm. na hindi lang siya compilation ng mga speeches na halos pa. Halos yun nga, paulit-ulit lang naman din yung mga kwan. Pero yung, yung essence nun, yun yung kinakailangan kasi na ma-rewrite. 
yung essence saka yung yung meaning niya. Parang yung pag nag father na I challenge all of you na you should not be uh, you should not be uh, ano tawag nun? cling to the old paradigm but you should be entering into the era of a new paradigm centering on the era of Chunilgo. So speech niya yun sa mga, mga ambassadors for peace pero kung titignan natin, hindi lang naman para sa mga ambassador for peace yun eh. Kahit sa lahat yun. Lahat ng mga hmm. Anong ibig sabihin ni Father doon? Sa ano yung Anong sinasabi ni Father na message na, na nando doon? So we should live yung past past culture, past tradition, but and we should be ready to accept true parents uh, God's tradition centering on the era of John Ilgok. Na hindi na yung ipush mo na ay Pilipino ako. Ikaw Amerikano, hindi na ganoon eh. Mm. Kaya nga sinabi nating John Ilgok whether anong country ka, we are coming from Chunilguk. Na isa lang yung culture natin, that is true parents culture, na based on God's culture and tradition. So removing the walls and boundaries ng differences of religion and nationality. Saka in the future, we can, we'll invest ba? Yung gagawa tayo ng movie, the life of the Reverend Sun Myung Moon. Kasi yung mga, alam mo yung mga movie notorious na, no? Click yan siya eh. How much more yung pag, ano, yung true, true story ni true, true parents na yeah, worldwide yung nagiging foundation nila. Example, yung book niya na, ano yung book niya? Di ba number one, ano yun sa, ano? Peace, Ako loving, yung, global citizen. Oh, yeah. Number one, nagiging number one, di ba? Mm. sa ano, best seller best seller so ganun din kung i-visual natin yan siya so mara worldwide ang ano niya then lahat ma, ma- an- maintindihan ng tao na ano tao. oh kasi puro yung ano kasi negative eh pag doon na nakikita so they will talagang they will flock to to our magkaroon <laughs> sila ng ano ng buong idea na ah ganun pala yun ah kala namin yes. dito mm. I think the best okay. na ano yan pang gusto, pag gusto mag-invest tayo ng ganun ano ba yung maggawa ng movie true to life story of ano true parents kasi yung mga sa Philippines nga yung mga notorious criminals di ba click yung mga yung mga true, so, yung true to life guys. story di ba <laughs> <laughs> mga mga ano mga criminals yeah. pinapanood na na <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Pwede naman oh, tayo. members. Mga members. Mga members. <laughs> Mag-audition talaga ako yun. Promise. Oh my diba? God. Pag ganun kasi talagang ano eh, ma-realize ng mga tao. Talaga yung Korea yan. Ganun pala itong ano niya, no? Yung true story ni... Uh, na Reverend Moon. Reverend Moon, no? Kasi puro negative ang nagiging na inculcate sa mind ng tao kasi pero pag nakita nilang ganun, tapos nakita yung foundation talaga, substantial, especially yung, yung sa ano, blessing na uh, siya lang yung nakagather ng ganun kadami na, ano, di ba? In ano, one setting. Na naka, ano sa Guinness, Guinness World Record. Ting naisip niya ng mga ano, kuya, ISQ, yung tanong ko, bakit hindi nila ginawa? Yun nga ang ano, ano, dyan eh. Parang may siguro, nag-wait lang, lang siguro, siguro ng right time. Oo, oh, right time. <laughs> Pero kasi, kasi parang, parang na, right moment, right then, technology. Nag-wait yan ng, ano, ng lang, suggestion ng Opta. <laughs> Ay, hindi rin, hindi rin. Ganun ba? <laughs> sa, sa suggest ng Opta muna yan. <laughs> ah, okay. Kasi na ano din pala ko yan, nakita ko yung, kasi pinakita nila, di ba yung uh, Sri Lankan president? na naghat na give ng kanyang speech during the yung pinakang latest na rally of hope yun di ba yon 
you wouldn't imagine na yung ano kinuha na nila ng video yung president because ang Sri Lanka di ba communist din sila dati ko ya or until this time communist sila ay muslim pala muslim muslim country uh, muslim country in na paano nila kinuha na nila ng video na ginawa lang nila ng studio mismo doon sa sa IH nila somewhere in Korea And they had asked that person to yung nakatayo lang siya yung parang ordinary person lang siya ba so na doon mo nakikita na kasi pagka Islam very strong sila de ba very strong pero at that time nakita mo kung paano sila nag-submit kay true mother it's really a miracle tapos pinakita yun din ano si Pope Francis na nag-bow down sa mga Jews at saka hindi na nag-bow down nag-kiss talaga sa feet ng mga ng Jews at saka Islam brothers yata na mga ano mga mga dagko ayun naglinis siya ng mapa nila dili ko yan nag-kiss parang talaga. ginagawa ng CSR SRS di ba yung CSRS natin but awan ko kung nag-yung beta talaga siya i think that was it na everybody was really shocked kay yung mga among kay internal man yan ano na shock talaga yung nandoon na oh ang si Pope Francis pala nag-bow down nagtuo ba na what was all to be done ginawa pa rin so, ano? it's a miracle because yeah uh-huh. ano na ba ya ang just like we said Christianity I mean Catholicism has a great role to fulfill niya panang it is not easy for the Pope to submit kaya nga na prolong yung ano talaga ba na, na relative doon talaga ba na ano si Randy hindi ko kasi nabasa yung ano na yun eh sinasabi kanina yung kanina talaga yung isa kong boss yun yung palagi nagbabasa tapos tinatanong niya kasi ako kung bago daw ako naging member ng movement tinatanong niya ako ano daw religion ko <laughs> tapos bigla niyang nasabi yung tungkol dun sa uh, yung na na sinasabi niya kanina na nasira daw yung 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 believe niya kay Pope noong sinabi niya na parang pinayagan daw niya yung although na parang na-discuss na natin dito yun eh pero di ako alam yung yung unity ng manu the same se- uh, sex ano yung ganun tapos parang hindi ah, yung... naman ganun yata yung boss yung lumabas na ano na inapprove niya yung same sex marriage. Nagkaroon nga talaga ng okay. kwan ng lumabas na ganun pero hindi naman ganun yung cleaner yon ng Vatican na hindi ganun ang ibig sabihin ng Pope. Clarify naman yun. In... Ah, ininterpret lang yun ng ano ng doon sa proclamation niya na ang sinasabi niya kasi is they are still human that we needed to respect. And we need to we need to embrace them as a human. Pero hindi niya sinasabi na tinanggap tatanggapin yung, yung ano, same sex same sex same sex marriage that's because that's yeah. against the the kan eh the canonical law. Uh, Pope it's yeah. against the canonical <laughs> law. Lagot. Eh pero ang mga pare sila nagpa-practice noon. Sorry to say. At saka kuya, meron din isang video pala na nagsasabi regarding Pope na because hindi ko kasi yun pina... Sinabi niya na Pope kasi has said na something may may dapat pa, may iba pang dapat gawin ang mga Catholic practitioners, something like aside doon sa pag-respect nung sa kanila as central figure, parang ganun na ang sinasabi nung nag ano nung nag nag video hindi ko kasi tinapos po is the pope is being used by the by the satanic ano kasi I, I am thinking na tayo yung may refer satanic uh, group para matwist parang matwist ma derail yung paradigm <laughs> Ganun pagkasabi, paradigm ni Pope Francis. De, tanaw ko, Pope Francis. Sabi ko, sila-sila man itong mga tao. Kasi yung mga magja-judge ba na hindi pa nag- nakikinig, ika nga. Kaya nga sabi ko, grabe talaga ang mga tao if we are very close. Uh, maybe it's not yet time for us to understand the divine principle. We have that tendency to 
overreact in the negative pattern manner na makakasira siya ng marami, makaka makakasira, makaka-influence siya ng marami to the negative side. So makaka-influence siya. So pero ako naniniwala ako na at this time yung relationship na nagawa ng ating mga very hard working leaders to really bridge the gap between religions is ano na because of the Victor's Foundation of Our True Parents is kumbaga umi-effect na talaga hindi na inevitable na talaga hindi na siya mas unstoppable na talaga siya kaya lang siguro kaya yung challenge natin is syempre ang dami kaya ang tao no and the leaders cannot do it by themselves but we also have our big role to fulfill na kailangan din natin gawin in our respective areas kasi we cannot just wait parang we cannot be expectators of these people to to do all the successes kasi para unsa na lang pud lugar at saka yeah they are also getting old actually our leaders are getting old na, na din dr walls na lang daan i used to be listening to him to be ano to be talking like pareho sa ato ang facing karon kay it's really it's really getting slow something like that so it is manifesting of his getting old ika nga ay nga sabi ko my god grabe ka urgent ang time na talaga na everybody should get involved everybody should yeah what we're doing is actually ano lang uh, really on the right ano to help hasten the task talaga of what the IHQ is small just like we said kuya inan nga maybe so insignificant but in a way it really totally, we are we are just uh, we are just the tip of the icebergs kumbaga yeah but it at least we are really mm. trying to contribute na hindi sana no uh, we can really be used by heavenly parents to really be able to spread ako nga uling sinabi ano eh panoorin yung yung Sunday service na yun na nawala sa ano ko uh, nakarating na ako ng Friday hindi ko pa rin siya nauuwi but I want to hindi ko masyadong na, na narinig yung umpisa nun eh kasi naghihintay ako dun sa <laughs> parang halos 30 minutes dun ako naghihintay dun sa pag-open dun dito sa Philippines nung Sunday service bago ako na pumasok doon tapos sinabi niyo tapos ang dami na pala talaga kailangan nating i-ano te kailangan talaga siyang panoorin din eh kasi ano yun uh, maganda yung Sunday service na yun sa ko eh para hindi ko ma-contain sa isa kung sa isang ano para hindi ba hindi ko ma-contain lahat yung mga kailangang gawin kaya nga maganda rin ko meron tayong kwan meron tayong kumbaga uh, sa UPTA yung mga lex, mga educators natin sa UPTA magkaroon din ng actual experience sa foundation ni Father sa Korea. Oo nga kuya, ang sarap talaga ng ganun. Kasi uh, I remember nung nung nag-lecture ako sa mga second generation, 'di ba? Nag-tour kami sa lahat ng mga lahat ng mga holy ground sa sa South Korea maliban lang sa kwan sa Busan kasi hindi kasama yung sa itinerary namin. Pero uh, Busan kasi, napuntaan ko na rin naman na yung Busan. Nakita ko rin yung buong foundation, yung buong suffering ni Father doon. And nadagdagan, nung, lalong-lalo na nung after ng helicopter crash, mm-hmm. di ba? yung mga picture ng after ng helicopter crash na nag-fishing si Father, akala natin nasa, nasa dagat siya, pero nandun lang sa man-made lake sa, sa Pine Ridge. Oh. na talagang ang nagano sila ng 1500 species ng ng fish na linagay nila doon sa lake na yon na almost uh, almost 2 hectares siya na lake na ginawa and doon yung doon siya doon nagrecover si father during the time of helicopter uh, helicopter crash na ano So, yung mga ganun na ano ba, mga ganun na if we can make an arrangement with the in in Korea sa mga ganun. Kaya you, you kaya kailangan i ano mo yun, Herwin. Pag-isipan natin 'yon, yung UPTA Philippines, how we can communicate uh, with sa Korea 
para magkaroon tayo ng time to go around dun sa mga kung saan makita talaga natin yung foundation. Lalong-lalo na yung first ilwa. First ilwa, tapos kung mapuntahan din natin yung, yung Gimpo Aviation Industry. Na dun mo talaga makikita yung yung giant leap ng technology ng uh, Sikorsky. Grabe, Actually, hindi ko, tayo, no? hindi, hindi ko makalimutan yun kasi ako nag-translate dun sa peace message number 6 na yun eh. Wow. Sa peace message ni Father. Ako nag-translate yun from, from English to Tagalog nung in-offer yun kay Father. Ano, And during that time, pinapunta ka. Combination ng Tong Il at saka yung aviation industry sa Korea, kuya, na inano ni Father. Tong Il sa Germany, tapos kinontak nila ang Sikorsky Company for uh, kumbaga, memorandum of agreement to convert yung Sikorsky, Camp- Sikorsky helicopter from two... 2 capacity to 20 capacity massive transport. Ngayon ko talaga na-appreciate itong ano ko ya, itong topic din chapter, yung chapter chat sa chapter 4 ba na. Mm-hmm. Kailangan kailangan talaga maintindihan natin in relation to the present time. Para mas maging effective tayo, paano natin i-testify ang significance sa two points. Noon parang wala lang. Sakit lang akong ulo, katulugan lang ko, wala na ba. Wow, karon ako na pwede nga may goodness ka dako baka ani nga role ani oy para mas uh, mas dali nato ma-convey sa mga tao kung unsa ka importante ang significance ng Lord of the Second Advent. Pero bi pala talaga siya, sabi ko nga Ginoo ko Lord sa bani ay kadaghan ba kaysa i-cope nako sa akong edad, my goodness. Ang question ko di ba? No. Yes. Ano uh, what kind of government na na i-establish nila sa Paris? Sabi din sa ano din. But, ano mismo yung pangalan? Parent? <laughs> Paris. True parentism. Pero pag mag-simpisim na kasi tayo, like the ideology. visionary kasi yung ideology na kasi kaya, Uh, uh, lang talaga. Parents na lang na yung heavenly, ano, Unificationism, so, parang gano'n. <laughs> Actually, oh. Dati kasi ang inaano ni Father is uh, true parenthood na all leaders should become true parent. Pero ngayon is uh, family lang kasi yung true parentship eh. Pero pag sinabi kasi nating community, heavenly community, uh, the whole community na yun, tas equal lahat yung nasa community. Now we are all sons and daughters of God and we can look at each other as a real brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. Kaya kung kung maano niyo yung message ni ni Kwan, ni Reverend Hori nung Sunday na siya nagbigay ng message, yung sinasabi niya na ang ano ni Father is hindi niya tinitignan na na iba but tinitignan niya lahat ng tao to be his sons and daughters. Grabe no. Hmm. Na even he as a second generation tinitignan pa rin siya ni Father as his son na ini-encourage niya to excel as a representative of the parent. So, hindi lang naka... Yung kumbaga, si father, hindi lang siya nakaano sa sa family lang niya, hindi lang siya nakaano sa mga Koreans, but no matter who that person is, that is a son and daughter of God and true parents. Kaya nga nung, kwan, nung binigyan niya ng pangalan yung anak ni Archbishop Stallings, sabi ni Father Kenya sa mga leaders nun is, even that is the son of Archbishop Stalling, that's still my son. So yun yung, yun yung relationship na talagang parent and child relationship na. Kasi sa, sa community kasi isang nag-exist is existence of parents and then existence of the children. Wala namang ibang nag-exist sa community, di ba? Kundi yeah. pere- parents. O si, yung all elders should be in the position of a parents. parents and all, and parents all younger should, should be in the position of a children. children. So we are all sons and daughters. Yun yung ano. 
At saka kuya, ano rin, binibigyan din na ng emphasis yung first generation, second generation, third generation na leadership. Of which, meron okay. talagang total unity na hindi iba. This is what I understood, ha? Na hindi magkaiba. Kung baga, yung dun, how to say, proper, how to say, yung na-hand over you properly what was being learned and the first generation to the second generation to the, parang ganun. Yung and successor. Oh, parang successor, successor mm-hmm, successorship mm-hmm. na, no? Opo, opo. Ganun talaga. Bequeting. Oh, bequeting yeah. talaga, kuya. Bequeting of, of, ano? of the tradition and education. Yun yung naintindihan ko doon. <laughs> Tulog din na sa minsan, no? Yun yung, binigyan yun ng highlight. Pero siguro parang hindi pa ganun ko na grasp kasi hindi pa din hindi ganun ka ano siguro ako pa. ano yung big question big question ha traditions traditions Tradi- education of the ano yun yung leadership successorship nga big question of leadership na dapat isa lang hindi siya wala baka hindi the third generation should could should be able to fully unite from the first generation through the second generation Kung, baga, kung, anong, kung ano yung kwan, ano yung original tradition ng first generation yeah. centering on on the model of true parents dapat yun din yung ipapasa sa second generation and third generation Oo, yung na first, kung baga, yung... kung kung pano, kung babasahin niyo mabuti yung yung kay uh, Abraham yung pag-offer ni Abraham di ba yung first offering niya nagfail Yung second offering niya, hindi naman na kay Abraham yun eh. Okay, exactly. Ang binequit niya na tradition is tradition of offering na ang gumawa. Walang iba kundi si Isaac. Exactly. And from Isaac, binequit din niya yung offering na tradition kay oh, Jacob. Jacob. Mm. Kaya lahat ng mga naipundar ni Jacob sa Haran, after, after 21, 21 yes. years, Dalawa? wala siyang ibang ginawa kundi inoffer lahat yun sa kanyang kapatid oh, na si Isaac. Yes, yes, yes. Kaya ang ang, na, ang na, makikita natin doon is yung passing of one tradition of offering na you are willing to offer everything for the sake of liberating the heart of either first generation, second generation, or third generation. Uh, yun yun, parang yun Kaya kung titiga mo, ang, ang, isang side, ang isang side ng ng Abraham's course is yung, kumbaga, yung three generation na naging victorious but the other side of it is a passing of a culture and tradition na hindi dapat magbabago from one generation to another. Kaya nga, very important yung tradition na ano eh. Ang tradition naman natin is, di ba, ang pinaka-tradition natin is a uh, constant and, and unconditional. Yung inano ni Father na living for the sake of others na kahit na sino yung nasa harap mo, hindi mo titignan yun as another person, but that is the sons and daughters of God, na you are responsible for it. That's why you have to live for the sake of that. For the sake of them. Pero ano yung qualification, sir, para that, that ano, will be passed down to that person? Heart. Qualification yeah. as in of that person kasi we all know ganun dapat yung tradition but how about the qualification ang isa lang naman is kun eh ang qualification natin is meron tayong education na binigay si father di ba from 3 days 7 days 21 days and 40 days and then after finishing all of those seminars and education you have to receive the blessing you have you have to be after you receive them after you receive your mats you have to receive the blessing and then follow the same pattern How about passing the position sir to another person mm, passing the position wala pa yung clear na no kasi iba-iba yung naging process kasi that is by appointment by draw lots Pero merong ginagawang IHQ ngayon na merong background check. Tapos meron sila mga certain certain criteria na tinitignan based on how much you have really practiced based on this. Parang yung sa Chun Ilguk 
qualification yung para sa ano sa uh, yung yung bago na ano bago na Chonewon? Yon. Merong kwan yon, merong qualification yon, merong mga sangkatutak. I think ilang page ba yon yung dapat mong i ano? Tapos sinesertify yon ng IHQ na nagawa ba to? Meron ba nagawa to? Ganon. Ah, oh, kaya ka magutsan about yon iwan. Hmm. 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 Pero di ba sir, ang ating in the true father said na uh, in the spiritual world ba? Or yeah, even hmm. here in the future. There will actually be like basis or basis of qualification, I should say, or basis of judgment. And then that judgment, I think, I believe, would be the basis of like, might as well. I don't know if I may be wrong, but it could be the basis of on how to qualify to become a leader. Because, di ba, ang judgment and judgment by word, judgment by character and judgment by heart right so baka mm. yun yung magiging kung ano man yung saan pumasok in lahat ng possible possible qualification is doon yun yung magiging magiging pwedeng maging inheritor of the position of the central figure uh, ang ang ano ang ang sinet up ni father na mal, mal, malawak pa siya na yun yung tinitrim down nila into different categories is yung three heavenly laws. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yun yung three heavenly laws na yun yung ginagawa, ginagawa nila ngayon ng centering on the three heavenly laws and expound nila yun for the heavenly constitution mm. sa HQ. Of which I think I believe they are really very very busy people. Kita ko talaga kung gaano sila kabisi lahat ng mga strategic planning nila for the Vision 2027. Although, parang hinimay-himay din. Hindi ako magaling sa, ano sir, sa, hindi ako magaling maka... maka meron mga nate, every, every department sa HQ, meron silang, meron silang research team, meron silang researcher team, tapos meron yung taga finalize na mga manuscript taga finalize na mga ano may iba ito bang department din under ng isang ano uh, isang isang office doon may iba ibang group din na uh, involved vision of labor mm-hmm. parang sa ano parang sa 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 amin dati sa sa Chong Sung uh, iba yung direct na nagte-translate translate from original text to English tapos English to different na- nationalities na na different language na and from different language iba rin yung yung nag uh, nagta raw translation iba rin taga proofread and then iba rin taga finalize ng proofreading and then bago siya pupunta into final text and dun sa final text uh, meron pa ring meron pa ring evaluation noon bago siya pupunta into final printing na, ano. Kaya maproseso siya actually na ano. Madug- madugong mm-hmm. ano at saka kuya meron pa pala akong isang ano um I think Reverend Yong Yun Ho has ano parang na stress niya, gi-stress niya father na um iba yung magiging department ng blessed families at saka iba yung magiging department ng mga blessing candidates pa lang. Yun yung, nakit- yun yung naintindihan ko na na-retain doon sa sa kasi konti lang yung capacity ko to retain few things eh. Parang merong ganun na hindi ko masyadong nag-grasp pa paano gawin o paano siguro i-substantiate immediately. Pero yung siguro he is referring to education kasi hindi madali. <laughs> hindi madali especially at this present moment hindi pa naman talaga kasi Uh, pwedeng agad ma- magawa ng blessed family or the department if this is really the the future ano uh, ito na yung magiging ano eh magiging trend in the future pagka restore na na uh, or I don't know basta sabi niya ang mga blessing candidates is iba may ibang department tapos iba baka match, matching candidate ate. Ay, baka, matching baka candidate, matching candidate tapos yes, match so. couple. 
kasi yung kwan yung categorization natin ngayon meron yung matching candidate tapos match couple uh, ah, blessing ko, ko. blessing candidate mm -hmm. yung mga na match na, na nag accept tapos waiting for the blessing and then after that uh, yung blessing na mm. yung na bless na tapos yung mag-start na ng family tapos yung nakapag-start na ng family hanggang merong mga anak na sa category na may mga anak meron yung toddler ang mga anak meron yung junior high ang mga anak meron din yung mga senior high yung mga anak na category na ano mm. okay. so pagka magano yon mag pagkakaroon ng iba't ibang department yon kasi iba-iba yung focus nila in terms of education, education. and development sa mga ano. Es, dito kasi sa, sa atin sa ngayon kasi hindi pa ganun enough yung mga tao to handle kaya parang nasa isang department muna siya ngayon. Pero little by little they are now being categorizing based on that. Kaya nga even sa mga, sa mga, kwan, sa mga second gen yung in charge din sa sa mga pre toddler education tapos toddler education elementary mm -hmm. education meron din category na ganon mm -hmm. so actually kung titingnan natin uh, we are we are still in the process of us uh, of setting up yung yung pattern na dapat na ipamana natin sa mga next generation. Pioneering pa tayo, sir, no? Mm. Tayo yung pioneer na mag-lay ng foundation for them para pagdating nila, hindi na sila mahirapan na ano, meron na silang pupuntahan. Pag pinanganak sila, meron nang mag-take care sa kanila tapos hanggang sa bago, habang, bago sila pupunta sa si spirit world habang nandito sila sa lupa. Kaya from womb to tomb nga yung ano niya. Even nga yung mag-take care sa mga mga pregnant women is iba rin yung ano na eh. Kasi merong exclusive na education si Father Sam para sa mga pregnant women. Even yung mga bagong bagong uh, kay start na ng family. Yung guidance ni Father na uh, 100 days na dapat wag kang magalit either sa inyong dalawa, wag, walang magagalit. Parang sa ganun, you can really create a good children and you can create really a good seed for the children that you have. Grabe, okay. no? Merong, merong, kwan, merong ganun na uh, mga guidance si Father exclusively para doon lang na ano, para sa mga ganun lang. How to bear good children, ano yung mga condition na dapat gawin? Di ba ang sinasabi lang sa atin is habang nagbubuntis ka, magbasa ka tuwing umaga, ganun lang sinasabi sa atin. Pero mm -hmm. meron pang mga iba. Internal sa external preparation, merong, merong direct guidance si Father sa mga ganun. Kaya nga, di ba, sabi nga ni Father, I had, I had given you already everything. Ang kulang na lang is yung basahin natin, isearch natin yung mga bagay na yun para we can pass it to the next generation. Ka even yung kwan, even yung may monthly period yung mga sisters, di ba tumataas yung tumataas yung ano niyo, kumbaga mainitin ng ulo ng mga sisters pag may monthly period. How to overcome that? Meron ding guidance si Father doon. Wow. And what are the bakit nagkaroon ng ganon? And anong gagawin ng brother pag ganon? Ang scenario. Yan, at least advanced education na to kay Herwin. Preparation niya sa pag-start ng family. Yes, it's very oh, important na, sir. kuya. It's very important talaga <laughs> kuya, I tell you. Herwin, no? Makinig ko talaga kuya. Nasa hati ko sa ngayon. Ano nga, ano nga? Eh, Herwin, ano? si Manina, si Jinky, yan. Sila yan. <laughs> ha? Uh, you will be at least uh, 100 days preparation prior to having... Parang kwan, ba parang magkaroon bago bago kaya magkaroon ng magkaroon ng intercourse ng partner mo dapat 100 days na wag kayong magkaroon ng any any tampuhan or any mm -hmm. any negative feeling towards each other. 
before mag-intercourse ka lang gano'n? Uh, yes. Uh, Bakit? Start uh, ano lang? Para magkaroon talaga ng condition, uh, good foundation yeah. and good condition. Condition of faith and substance. Faith muna yeah. pala. Uh, <laughs> Tsaka ano kuya, dapat alam mo, alam nyo anong klaseng anak ang gusto nyong gawin. Di ba kuya, Herwin? Mm. Ito yung ito yung gusto ko mong yung barang conditioning of mine na ito yung magiging outcome nung magiging niyo. Tapos video kailan kailan Tapos maging babae yung kan? Pero meron mang isa ano diba? Yung anak pero kailan maging lalaki para maging lalaki anak. Ay si Manina oh, foundation of faith daw Aju. <laughs> Ay Manina. Ate mo. Uh, mas certain yung mga mag-start pa lang ng family kasi oh, meron oh. na Meron oh, meron ba education book tungkol diyan? Wala. Meron meron. Meron pero we will compile. Parang ipag nagpre-prepare ka pa nga lang ng 3 day ceremony ko. Ano yung mga kailangan mo? Ang hirap hanapin yung mga building ng mga yun ah. Parang hirap na hirap kang kumpletohin yun. Kung kailan mo kailangan, pag hindi mo kailangan, nakikita mo sila. Yung prayer condition pag pagka mamili ka ng mamili ka ng kwan, mamili ka ng um, pang holing kerchief. Gagamitin. Oh, mm. God. Ginagawa pa ba ngayon yung kwan? Ginagawa pa ba ngayon yung condition na bago pagka mag-assign ka sa offering table na mag-prepare sa offering table kinakailangan meron ka mo ng 3 days condition. Three days condition na reading tapos uh, prayer Saan condition. Yes. Meron tapos ka bago ka na mag-pray. Ano oh, lang, oh, yeah. um, shower. Pa- pati yung pagbibili, dapat dapat yung hindi pa nahawakan ng mga tao Ay, yung uh, pagmamili ng ano. Kaya maagap. Oh, At saka hindi, maagap, na, hindi tumatawad. Yung ganun. Grabe talaga. Uh, hindi tatawarin kasi yung offering yun. Ay, wow. And then it should be best. Tapos yung pinakamagandang kasi yung pinili. Oo. Oo. <laughs> Di ka nagko-complain nga, oh, bakit mahal to? Parang wala talaga. Very pure talaga. Kung magkano yung presyo niya, hindi mo na ano, basta bilhin oh, mo na lang. Yes. Bayaran mo. Walang okay. any negative condition. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, uh, that is, yun yung, yun yung advanced. Kung titignan natin, ang divine principle kasi is just a basic, di ba? Mm-hmm. It answers the basic. Pero yung advanced na mga maganong proseso, yun din ang pinaka-base pa rin, pinaka-root pa rin niya is the divine principle. And para maintindihan natin yun, we needed to look at Father's words, Father's guidance, so that we can know how we can really prepare ourselves to really become a blessed central family. Kaya importante talaga na we have to continuously read, study, and search for Father's words. Kaya ito yung, ito yung kaya nga diba, ang isa sa mga challenge ko sa inyo is Uh, pag mag-lecture kayo, you have to prioritize study Father's words in relation to the topics that we are discussing. Para sa ganon, uh, masanay na tayo na hindi lang tayo magbibigay ng information based on the divine principle na yung, yung ginagamit natin na exposition of the divine principle, but we are putting in both bones, flesh, and including the blood vessels na kinakailangan para sa ganon talagang mag-sink in sa sa tao lang sa ganun people will be transformed they will not just be listening at the principle but they will be transforming their life based on the principle kasi di ba kung kung basahin natin sa sa common na tao sabi nila that's impossible to happen pero pag nandiyan na kasi yung ano ni father lahat kasi naging possible bakit kasi nagawa na niya eh tapos kung dagdagan pa natin yung mga victories natin, di mas magiging ano na, ay hindi pala imposible. Ngunit it is possible na mangyari yon. Ang kulang lang is yung acceptance lang ng tao. Aju? Yes. Kaya, kaya nga, di ba, sinasabi ko sa inyo na ang, ang inano natin si UPT is just a napaka napakaliit lang pero at least we are already starting to set a pattern na tayo mismo we can pass something to our next generation yeah it may be too small kuya mm-hmm. but it is very very important honestly 
Very, very important. Sa mga young people, it may not be very significant yet. Pero para sa atin na mga nanay na, I know it is something that uh, hindi matatawaran yun eh. Kasi andyan na lang yan, at least makita na nila. Hindi na na kailangang hanapin pa. Because we already said it out. Para yung ganun. Isa buhay na lang. Mm-mm, isa sa buhay na lang. Kasi iba yung narinig mo lang, iba yung nakikita mo talaga. Inababasa mo ka. At saka iba rin yung ginagawa mo. Oo. Yung, gin, yung, yung gagawin um, yung ganda. Yung sinasabuhay mo siya. Mm-hmm. Iba yun. Okay, so... Anyway, wala nang nakapag-lecture, no? Ah... Uh, oh, suppose hindi ako... Sinadjaya ni ah, Miss Sylvia. Ha? Sinadjaya ni Miss Sylvia para hindi mag-lecture. Oo nga. <laughs> Pinahaba yung discussion so, para ano. Pinahalata mo ba ate? <laughs> huh? Ganun na, halata mo ba? Yes <laughs> Wala ba dito yung mag-lecture yun. Dapat ngayon, Herwin? Sino ba ah, si Cherry? Cherry Bell? Si Bell uh, Wala, no? Wala pa nga, kuya Nasa pagadian po Sino ang next kay Cherry sure, Bell na? Ano? Ay, si, sino ba? Sa patingin mo yeah. Sino ba? Si Bea ako Bea, te Ah, si Bea Pero nag-lecture ah. na si Bea last ano, di ba? Last Saka Saturday. Si ako na sa sunod. Tapos na si Bea. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos na si Bea last Saturday. Pwede yung umulit. Pwede yung din. Hindi pa si Bea? Hi Bea. Bea. Hindi ko na intindihan. Hindi ko alam eh. Hello po. Ay, nandiyan pala. Si Jo pa pala. Ayun. Si pala si Bea. Hey, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Nandito kasi ako sa labas siya, hindi ko lang. <laughs> Joker, sorry, pizza nak. Take to daw Bea. <laughs> Tulog na po tayo, Kuya. Tala na po. Good night na po. Huh? Tulog <laughs> na po tayo. <laughs> May 15 minutes po. <laughs> Grabe 'to, tang ato. 2 minutes lecture. 2 minutes. Oo nga pala, nakalimutan ko. Umaba na at masyado ang ating oras, Joker. <laughs> ah, pero ang dami nating napag-usapan na. Ano eh, yung pinag-usapan naman natin is yung yung pinag-usapan naman natin is yung, ano, yung history in in the present era. Yeah. Prolongation. Yeah. Oh, sige na, sinang kwan. Actually, tapos na si Bea nung Saturday eh. Di ba, Bea? Yes po, Aju. Yes po. Saturday, Saturday ba yun nung nag, nag, nag-present ka? Saturday, Saturday or Friday? Saturday, Saturday. no? Oh, di next na mag-present ngayon. In 15 minutes time. Ha, grabe sila oh. <laughs> Ako na? Oh, sige, mag-extend tayo ng okay lang ba? Okay lang ba mag-extend tayo? Si Ma'am Marlene, okay lang? Ay, mayroon pa ibang ito? Hi, Ma'am Marlene. Hi, Ma'am Marlene. Kumusta po? Welcome. Hello, Ma'am. Hello, Ma'am. Ma'am, nakamute ka nag enjoy po ako makinig. Okay lang. <laughs> Ay, hindi pa pala kumanta si ma'am, no? Diba? Ha, siya. May Sa- tradition kami dito, ma'am, kakanta. Nang ano? Ang bagong dating. Ang bagong ano. Welcoming ano. Pang-welcome, ma'am. Kailangan kumanta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hindi ko alam. Hindi ako nang prepare. Hindi ako nang prepare ng kanta. <laughs> So next next meeting ma'am bukas. Bukas. Magprepare muna si ma'am para bukas. Anong kanta? Any song ma'am. Anong kanta ma'am? Uh, Any song. Sabli po kayo. Inspire us, huh? Ah talaga. Oh just ko po baka hindi ko ma-inspire sa boses ko. Feel kahit may expire ka ba, okay lang. <laughs> Oy, <laughs> totoo 'yan, grabe kayo. Oo, oh, oh, totoo oh, 'yan. Oo, oh, lahat na kami doon. Tradition kasi 'yan eh. Ulit nga si Ate Emily na eh. 
Pakanta sa atin na. Oh, sige, try ko po bukas. Grabe kayo. Oh, hi, <laughs> yeah. At least mo makapag-prepare ka pa. Yeah. <laughs> Ganon. <laughs> sige po. Amin, continue sa amin eh. So, okay oh, naman yung discussion kanina, ma'am? Oo, oh, okay. okay, okay. Na, ano ka? Ah, oh, dami ko yeah. natutunan. Ang dami ko. Nag-i-enjoy ako makinig. Mm. Ay, ang ganda pala ng project nyo ng husband mo, mama. Pa? Yung project nyo ng husband mo. Na ano po? <laughs> yung nakasupot. Ah. <laughs> Mga nakasupot, ma'am, na ano? <laughs> Anong ano? <laughs> mm. Actually, parang uh, may project sila, ma'am, na yung nag-gift-giving kayo na, ma'am? Oo. Sa community? Sa, oo. Hanggang ngayon nga, ginagawa pa rin yun. Sa ano yun? Mm. Sa center? Dito sa council? Mm. Wow. That's Ayan. So, anyway, uh, mag-prepare si ma'am ng kanta bukas. Tapos, uh, <laughs> i-ano mo rin, heroin sa ano? Yung... <laughs> Live. Yung lecture Uy. ni ma'am. Kung kailan siya mag 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 oh, para present. Oo, para, para maka-prepare din ako kasi kailangan ko mag-aral. Ah, sige, isama natin si ma'am bukas. Ano lecture? Eh, huwag naman bukas. Grabe ko yun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Next, next meeting. Sige, ano, sige. Ang galing-galing ko niyan. <laughs> oh, Tignan niya muna yung, kuan, yung presentation ngayon. Oh, tapos uh, yung, yung bukas. Tapos next next week. Yan, oh, i-include na siya sa magle-lecture next week. Friday. Yeah, Mahiya ako kay ma'am nito. Okay lang, ma'am. Ako pa muna ang bukas ang mag-lecture. Patay na ako. <laughs> ay, grabe kayo. <laughs> ang gagaling nyo nga. Ako ay first time ko yan. Ako po. Ma'am, wala yan sa first time. Kasi Buk- ano, ano eh. Ma'am Silvia, anong bukas ka? Diba ngayon ka? Ah, ako ba ngayon? Kasi oh. ka nga. <laughs> Tapos na si Bea, diba? <laughs> oh my God. Sige na nga. Akala ko tapos na. <laughs> Sige nga. Okay lang. Okay lang, mag-extend ka lang. Kaya tinanong ko si Ma'am Marlene kung okay lang na mag-extend para tapusin okay ka muna namin within 15 minutes. Ah, oh, okay, okay lang daw si Ma'am. Sige, ah. share screen ako. Sige po. Sige, sige. Para ma- sige magkaroon ng first-hand experience na si Ma'am Marlene para ma- makapag-prepare na rin siya. Ah, Pwede, kantahin meron... ko na lang to. Joke. <laughs> meron ka na nung ano Ma'am, yung 3 hours, 10 hours, saka 12 hours manual, saka yung bagong 3 hours na manual ng ano? PowerPoint? Ay, yung nasend mo yun noon. Parang, parang Tignan nasend ko na, na sa'yo noon. Tingnan ko na lang Ayun. po. Ah, sige po ma'am, para i- kuan. Tapos, ilagay mo na lang sa isang folder. Oo, oh, pakisend na rin. Kung ano yung topic ko, kasi mag-aaral pa ako. <laughs> sige po, i-send po ni Herwin ma'am sa'yo yung ano. Okay, okay. Thank yung you. Yung topic. Sige po. Tama pala si ma'am Marlene, mga, ha, mga estudyante niya, mga bata eh. Oo oh, nga, mga bata na estudyante. Ah. Anong grade, ma'am? Galing. Ako grade to, mga pupils ko. Ah, oh. galing. Ganda-ganda. Ang ganda pa nung turuan. Oo, oh, oh, totoo yan. I like that. Kaya nag-enjoy ako dun sa, sa kinukwento mga ati Silvia na ano yun, yung oh. sa... Yung, yung sa IHQ sa, na modality oh, na ginawa nila. Ko, wow, magandang Super gamitin ganda. sa springboard. Pang springboard ng lesson. Okay. Sana nga ano, magkaroon na nun. Tapos may okay, English, okay. ano siya, translation, may Tagalog. Mga Subtitle, oo. Oh. <laughs> wow. Diba? Tapos ya, yeah, galing. Mm-hmm. Sabi um, ko, ka, tapos libro, sana may libro para at least maganda talagang gamitin sa mga bata, sa mga estudyante ko. Oo oh, nga, ma'am. Dapat oh, pala, ma'am, ma'am. Meron, meron ka nung kwan. Meron ka nung file nung kwan, nung Angel's Whisper na ano, so, oh, yung sa yung liberation. Yung yun. Na, ano ba, uh, i-search ko po ma'am tapos kung ano ilagay ko sa ilagay ko sa Google Drive tapos i-send ni Herwin sa iyo. Ah, para ano. Sige, wag na nating patagalin haba pa si Ma'am Silvia. Patagal pa to, ma'am, mga, Ma- makalimutan mga na naman hours. natin na mag-present siya. <laughs> two hours. To, oh, thank you. <laughs> Dami ini. Ang dami kong satsat. Nalimutan ko. Mag-lecture pula ako. Ano ba yan? Sige na po. Mag-share screen mo nagawa, na nagawa ni ako. Nagawa ni Kuya Julius yung, ano, yung 30 minutes presentation na isang, isang chapter yun na Kuya Julius. 
Yes, oh, nung last Saturday yata yun. Oh, oh last Saturday <laughs> na gawa niya. Powers. <laughs> oh, kasi na po bukas magmamodel lecture. Ikaw, Ted, tsaka si Ate ah! Munins. Nasyak na lang sa pala. Huwag ka magtanong kasi ikaw yung... Uh... <laughs> Ang <laughs> tatanong siya yung mag-dude lecture. <laughs> Tarang nabibigla lahat, ha? <laughs> no, wala sila. Ah, Bakit sige na. Let's, uh... Pwede na ako mag-share screen, ko ya? Okay. Sige pa, sige. Okay. Saan ba yon? Wow. Hindi ko alam. Mag-off lang ako ng camera, kunin ko lang yung laptop para ano. Ate Bia, turuan, turuan, nagpa, <laughs> nagpalaban ba? Ate Bia, turuan mo muna ako. Saan ba yun? Wait a minute. Kaping mainit. Uh... Ay, napanood mo na yung movie? Gusto Wala pag yun, kuya. My God, help ano? them. Pero Lina, panoorin niyo yun. Masinan ako movie. Yun. Kuya, do you, do you see my screen already? No, not yet. Yes. Di pa ah, okay, po. share screen. Hey, Julius. Asan yun? Kuya, ikaw mag-lecture next Friday? Saan eh? O Del? Huh? Ano bang topic? Ay, sir. Share screen. Chapter 6, kuya. Tapos? Yeah. Dapat dalawa to eh. Tayong dalawa kaya or si sino ba niya? Hala ka. <laughs> Bia wanted to sleep na kuya kasi sakit yang ulo. Yes. So Maayang gabi, eh. good evening po sa ating lahat. And this evening po, I'm tasked to share to you the you know, divine principle chapter 1 section 2 which talks about i uh, will be the discussing about universal prime energy give and take action and the four position foundation so we will first know what is the universal prime energy god the creator of all things is the absolute reality God is the absolute, the creator of all things is the absolute reality the, and uh, self-existent and transcendent to time and space. And then, then the fundamental energy of God's being is also eternal, self-existent, and absolute. And this universal, uh, this um, fundamental energy is the origin of all energies and forces that allowed all created beings to exist. We call this then the universal prime energy. So, yeah. Claro kayo, no? <laughs> it's very clear. So, yeah. ko na yung i-expound. Para ba? Ala? Atingan mo naman yan. Ang kayo yun? Ayun pala. I'm sorry. I did not. Yeah. So, we will take, then, uh, now we will now uh, study about your give and take action. So, God, uh, through God's, because we talk about universal prime energy, right? So, through the agency of the universal prime energy, the subject element and the object element, the subject element of every entity form a common base and enter into an interaction with, I mean, sorry ha, the subject, uh, the subject and the object element of God, actually, of every entity pala, form a common base and enter into an interaction. This interaction in turn will uh, generate all the forces the entity needs to exist multiply and act so the interaction generating this forces through through this um, process is called give and take action so it is when the subject and object re revolve in give and take action that the concept of en 
eternity comes into being. Therefore, the conclusion is that God had to establish the principle of living for the sake of others in order to pursue eternity. It is this that brings development, prosperity, and multiplication. So, uh, take, actually, marami tayong matutulan later on pala doon. So, sa, sa uh, later ano, uh, sections, kung ano yung, kung paano mag, naging eternal at saka self-existent si our creator, heavenly parent is. So, yeah. Wherein it would really bring into development and multiplication and prosperity. So now we are going to study the four position foundation, which realizes the three object purpose through origin, division, union, and action. So first we have to study the origin, division, union, action. The process on which out of God, yeah, out of God, the origin. Two entities are separately manifested, the subject and the object, and then reunited in oneness is called the origin, division, union, action. Yeah. So, alam natin na si God is, um, has dual characteristics. And this dual characteristics has been uh, manifested through the subject and object partner in which he is he has been projecting in all entities that he has created in this physical world. Thus, this subject and object partner are owed to get are to are, are to enter into a an interaction and uh, become reunited and that uh, union in oneness is called i uh, that that the the reunited when they reunited in oneness this is the called the union so yun yung origin division union action oops sana ba yan in origin division union action the origin kun balikan natin uh the origin which is god divides and then reunites because it wants something bigger. So, yun. Ito, God, nag-divide siya, and then reunites because God wants something bigger. So, thus, an object of God's love must divide and become bigger for the sake of God's love. So, yung purpose niya is for a bigger form of love. God feels joy and shocking stimulation at the sight of his object partner becoming bigger before the invisible subject partner. So this can be seen in one of the speeches of True Father in page 165. So we will now study further the three object purpose. So any of the four position foundation, alam natin, we knew that God is the, as the origin will, has to uh, divide itself into subject and object partner and then reunites producing the union, this one. And then, any proposition foundation, oh, any of the four position foundation, all of this, resulting from the origin, division, union, action, namely the origin, the subject partner, subject partner, mm -hmm. the object partner, and the union may assume position of the subject partner and engage in the other three as its object partners forming a communion of three object partners. So, nakikita natin, lahat ng ito, itong una, God, yung subject partner, object partner, and union, may assume as the, ob as the subject partner sa lahat ng mga to. Kaya nga, napakikita natin ito. If this one assumes as the object, subject partner, ito, ito, at saka ito, magiging object. And then, if this one will assume as subject partner, uh, ito, ito, ito will also become its object partner. While, if itong um, union na to will assume, uh, assume the subject partner, uh, this one, this one, and this one. So, God, subject, ob, subject partner, object partner may also assume as the 
object purpose. So, or object partner. So, when each of the four then acts as the subject partner and enters into give and take with each uh, with the other three they fulfill the three object purpose so lahat ng ito ato lahat sila actually they can assume the three object purpose kung whichever would as, um, assume the subject partner so if this one of course the origin ito yung subject three object purpose and then when this one becomes the subject partner ito ito will become the object purpose and the like ma in like manner if this one will uh, assume the subject partner god's uh, subject partner in union will also become the the object purpose and so on so yeah any of the okay so in order to help us better understand the three object purpose father explained more deeply we talk about the three object purpose not in reference to the universe but in reference to the family ethics the three object purpose refers to the complete unity of love hence it is easy to understand if explained based on love let us say the god is a grandfather and the union is his grandson if the grandson of course in this manner the father and the mother place the subject partner and the object partner, right? So, if the subject, if the grandson asks his grandfather to give him a piggyback back ride, and the grandfather does not does so, then at the moment the grandson becomes a subject partner, and the grandfather is, an in an object partner. That is why there are no lows or highs in love. Everyone is. One. So, doon natin mas maiintindihan yung three object purpose. And then number two, the same applies to a couple. If a wife asks her husband to massage her shoulders and the husband accepts the request, then the wife becomes a subject partner and the husband an object partner. Another one is when a mother unconditionally follows the father and the children follows the parents, as if pulled by a magnet, God also follows the chi oh, sorry the children with joy. So, if number four, if I show absolute faith, love, absolute love, and absolute obedience to God, then I, as a person, an object partner, can stand in the position of a subject partner, and God, who is the subject partner, is also follow will also follow me so yun yun yung ito yung ano yun to yung pinakang moment na di ba tayo as a human being um when we are yet in the process of growing um we have to form unity between mind and body right and then if this unity between mind and body is centered upon god and then we become a person of character then as a person of when we can truly inherit and resonate with the heart of God, actually at that time we can actually assume being the subject partner and God will follow us. Uh, since we knew that God is in essence a spirit and have no physical body. So kung ano natin being one with the uh when what one with the value of God, God will actually follow. Kasi tayo yung my physical body so now the four we will have to study the four position foundation when the origin which is god of course the subject partner projected from the origin is a, one of part of the dual characteristics of god and the object partner hey yeah the object partner and their union all fulfill the three object purpose the four position foundation is then established so yeah ko ito god the origin it was the subject partner and the object partner which is the division of the god's dual characteristics well and and the union will fulfill the three object purpose yun na realize or the established ang four position foundation So the four position foundation. The four position 
Purpose and Foundation is, di nyo na na-establish yung Purpose and Foundation. Ito yung root of the principle of three stages because it involves three stages of God, husband and wife and children. Yeah. In the family, I mean, it is applied. And then it also is the root of the number 12 because in as each of the four takes on three object partners, 12 object partners are created. Nakita naman natin, diba? Diba yung kanina? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where is it? Yeah, nito. Ito yung number 12. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Balik na tayo para madali lang, to glance. And then, the, the four position foundation also is the fundamental foundation of goodness and reali the realization of God's purpose of creation. So, nakita natin, nasabi ko na kanina, now, when you, one of the three great blessings, the very first one is the, uh, the purpose of God's creation is when we realize uh, the three great blessings, right? So, yung unang first, yung una sa tatlong first blessing is to uh, attain perfection or the mat uh, when we reach maturity, we're in God as the origin. Uh, having man and woman, man as the subject partner, and I don't know, mind and body, sorry, mind and body in a man, ha, in an individual, forms a good, uh, harmonious relationship centering upon God, will form us or make us a person of character, having us able to inherit the value of God and inherit His heart. So, yun yun yung foundation on the realization of God's purpose. It is the perfection of character. And then, another one, the four position foundation, the fourth, is that the fundamental, the four position foundation is the fundamental foundation for the life of all beings, providing all the forces necessary for what's happened its existence. So, yeah. Uh, katulad na lang halimbawa, in a family, no? God having man and woman uh, as a reflection of its dual characteristics, when these two unite and upon God, it can be able to reproduce or procreate or provide another, uh, another existence, which is the child. So, thus, this four position foundation, I uh, wait, before going to that, it applies in all other entities, living entities in the world. So, kahit sa bacteria, kahit sa animals, kahit sa plants, it has to go through this uh, four position foundation it, before it can multiply. So, thus, the four position, position foundation is the, sa nanino, hindi akong basa, is the, sorry po, is God's Original ideal of creation. Or God's eternal purpose of creation. So, yun yun. At hindi yun mababali. Eternal yun, hindi, at saka absolute. Hindi yun pwedeng mabago. So, ito yung position, ang four position foundation is the eternal purpose of creation of God. Okay? So, the four position foundation is a foundation with in the family centering on God, which is established when Adam and Eve become completely one so they can never leave the realm of God's love and then form an ideal couple and multiply God-centered children. Dinagdagan ko na. When this four-position foundation is established, Adam and, I sorry, Adam and Eve centering on God and become unable to leave the realm of God's love centering on God and become unable to leave the realm of God's love. So, we can find this uh, in the Blessing and Ideal Family 1, page 299. So, uh, yeah, this ends my lecture, brothers and sisters. Do you have any question? Is it feeling on guy, you know? Kaysa lig lang. Thank you so much. Uh, let's give a round of applause for the sisters. <laughs> Thank you, Kuya. Question daw, sabi niyo. Char, <laughs> feeling on kiko Kuya, no? How to end ba that one? Go ko, bilang ko eh. Hindi ko kalam paano pag-end sharing do. Hindi no.
question. <laughs> Next week pa yung ano, di ba yung question and answer natin sa Honestly, kanila? Ano mo kuya? Selector pa lang. Oh. Wow. Puro presentation lang muna sila ngayon hanggang bukas. Tapos next next week Friday Saturday puro yan yung banata natin sila ng question para. So prepare a question yung mga wag na yung mga madaling question para ano mapag-isip talaga. Ah ganun. Yung madali lang yung sagot pero mahirap Parang nagte-take ng kwan ng board exam na ano. <laughs> hindi hindi. <laughs> Grabe 'yun ha. <laughs> so, Kuya Julius, mag-prepare ka ng kwan ng mga ng question based sa uh, anong gusto mo kaya, Muslim perspective? At parang nawala lahat dito sa akin. Hello? Nandito lang ako, Kuya. Nakikinig po ako. Humina ba yung internet ko? <laughs> Hindi po. Nandito lang po. Nawala lahat yung mga... So, uh, anyway... Prepare ka na rin question, Herwin. Next week. Tama-tama, patapos mo na lahat ngayon mag-present. So, ilan na lang yung mag-present? Kasi si Ma'am Marlin, sa Friday siya mag-present, di ba? Bukas. Ay, tapos na. Tapos na, Kuya. Wala na. So, ano? Ano tapos na lahat. Na tomorrow. So, Na lang Start na lang question. Mag-present hmm. pa rin sila, sir, di ba? Ay, mag-present pa ba? Ang question na diretso. Oo, oh, mag-present pa rin. Mag-present na po na. Mag-present mo na, tapos after ng presentation, saka magtanong. Ba't nawawala ako? <laughs> Anong for section 2, sir? Section 2. Ati Jingi pala, may, hindi pa nakalecture. Oo nga, yun yung sasabihin ko sana. Sa bukas? Oo, oh, oh, sir. Si Miss Jing. Si Irene, tapos na, di ba? Si Irene? Tapos na ako, sir. Siya yung pinakauno. Hmm... So si Jinky na lang. At saka si Ma'am Marlene. Friday. Si, si Ma'am Arden. Marlene. Okay, so sige. We can... Sige, Herwin, we can now kan? So... wants to pray. Ate Lina kasi late siya ate. <laughs> okay, let's pray. Let's turn me in prayer. Good evening, our most loving Heavenly Father. And to parents of heaven, heaven, and human kind. Father, we would like to thank you, Heavenly Father, that we have a very great Uh, meeting, discussion, learning from each other, and learning uh, how the history is uh, par- uh, parallel with the previous history as we are living the time of our two parents. We also are very grateful, Heavenly Father, that we are living together with our two parents at this time. And having that this opportunity in order to serve, attend, and to help our two parents in the establishment of the 
the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Heavenly Father, we are thankful that we have so much um, shortcomings. And, then, and most of the time, Heavenly Father, we haven't been doing our portion of responsibility. And yet, Heavenly Father, you have given us and have been guiding us, Heavenly Father, uh, endlessly and untiringly uh, for us to be able to fulfill our portion responsibilities to our two mother to, our two, to our leaders and to our brothers and sisters that uh, are very that are near with us together like our uh, brothers and sisters father um, we are looking forward to Heavenly Father for our meeting tomorrow and that we would like to greet you, Heavenly Parents. Uh, good evening and we may all now rest and uh, so that we can prepare Heavenly Father for tomorrow as we meet and to learn more about your words, Heavenly Father, so that we could convey this to uh, other people and that they would be able, people would be able to um, receive also, Heavenly Father, the Messiah and the cleanse of the original sin and that continue our, uh, their growth to perfection as we are are doing, Heavenly Father, after we have received the blessing. Heavenly Father, we report peace and report peace in our names. Then, Ray and Rolina Dolando, San Paulo's family, Aju. 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 Picture mo na pala tayo. Pago, Alice. So, open your camera. Action. You come with your sister. Pwede pala dyan. Sige. Okay. Itambal pala dyan. Okay. Let's. Hard. Taranghamnida. Taranghamnida. One, two, three. Next, Vision 2027. Sungi, sungi, sungi. Sungi, sungi. Alright. Thank you very much. Oh, maraming salamat po. Night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you po, Ma Marlene. Good yes, to have you here with us. Mom. Napipressure ako sa kanta bukas. <laughs> Ma'am, kantaan mo kami. Magaling ka po doon, Ma'am. Kasi nga, galing ka sa mga sudyante mo. Alam ko yun. Just come. Alright. Oh yeah, here we are. See you 7 p.m. Kalimutan. Hey mom. Kita nama na 7 p.m. Kalina, alam ko yung 7 p.m. Pa naman sa kaya mo? Hmm. Kakan tago bukas, wow. Excited na kami lahat, ma'am. Ganun talaga ang tradisyon dito, ma'am. Talaga? Opo. Lahat na mga yan, ang kanta na yan, ma'am. Medyo hindi mo lang narinig dahil nahuli ka nga po. I-review mo na lang, ma'am, sa YouTube. Kumunta na sila. Sige nga, i-review ko nga. O, siya nga po. Sige. Okay. Good night. See you po tomorrow. See you po tomorrow. See you po everybody. Good to have a good night rest. Everyone. Be safe po.
Sir Randy, meron pala ako sinabi doon sa boss ko kanina. Sabi ko ganun, yung 